Hello. Wait a second. Something's going on here. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I uh, I set up I set up a, a second camera. So now 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 you now you're over there. And now you're here as well, but then also, also, I worked out how we could also do this. So now we've also got my laptop camera on at the same time. So we can have, technically, three separate cameras. There we go. Get all the Eric coverage you could possibly want. All in one stream. No such thing as too much. Perfect. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this feels weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's turn those off. Turn those off. But they, they, they exist now. So if I want to show stuff that's like far away, I can um, I can move. Thank you so much, Basil, for tier three. 28 months. That's a long time. Titanium Sin, thanks so much for 14 months. Shadow Wall, thanks so much for eight months. Really, really appreciate you. Every angle is covered. Every angle. So covered. So good. Uh, today we're going to be jumping into the Stanley Parable. It's a game I've always wanted to play, but I have never actually played. Um, so we'll be checking that out. It's uh, a really cool, um, like, choice-based game. Like, choose-your-own-adventure kind of thing. And I know a whole bunch of people have played it already, but I never have, and I want to. So it's my stream, and I get to do what I want. <laughs> I also painted my nails. Ooh, that, the blue looks different on camera. That's weird. It's more of like a, a greeny blue. Maybe it's because the lighting here is a little bit orange. Um, but yeah, the the the, the I painted my nails. Um, Have fun with the game. Yeah, I, I've got I've got a whole set of everything now, so I can paint them whatever color I want. Uh, because I like doing that. And even though I've painted my nails, I haven't shaved today, which is rare. So you, you, I've got all my stubble, which sounds very... Scratchy. <laughs> 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 Fucking stubble ASMR. Um, I'm excited to see you play this. I'm excited to play it. Um, as I said, I, it's a game I really want, re have been wanting to play. Um, so I'm excited to do it. American Moth, thank you so much for the Prime. Kill Dash Aid, 28 months. Jesus, that's a long time. Thank you so much. V, thank you so much for 23 months. Very, very cool. Very cool. You playing first or the second one? I'm playing the second one because that's got a... Uh, all the new stuff and a bunch of extra things. And you know, the other game has been out since like 2012 I or something ridiculous. So, so uh, I hope you have fun playing Smile. My mum is deciding this is the perfect time to print off some documents, so if she randomly appears in the background, you'll know why. Um, you're gonna love this game? I hope so. But I want to make sure you're all doing well. You fucking better be. Um, yeah, now, let's, should, we, should we jump right into the game? Mum reveal? <gasps> She's actually never been on one of my streams. Never been on one of my streams. So that'll be entirely her call. I actually got, uh, unironically, I got one of those, like, um, on-air, like, lights, which I put, like, at the top of the stairs over there. So, um, when my fam- because the kitchen is directly above me. It is, like, one of the main rooms in the house. Um, and so they know if they want to come in here, they, they gotta be, gotta be a bit more quiet. While I'm streaming, at least. Luckily, I stream pretty late, so most meals have already been had. So, no no big issue. But, um, oh my god, mum reveal. Maybe maybe we'll make that a goal. Maybe we'll make that a goal. My mum will just come on to go, hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beware, there's some derealization in this. Step away. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I've seen some stuff, but I, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, uh, I want to play it. I want to play it. I want to break rules. I want to. I want to have fun. I want to see what this game has to offer, especially the new one, because I've seen a lot of stuff about the. Um, seen a lot of stuff about the uh, the old one, but the new one. I know it came out a little while ago. I'm a little late on the train on this one, but fuck it. We'll 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 check it out. We'll check it out. Um, should we jump right in? 
Tetris, thank you so much. Zyphex, Zy thank you so much for four I months and nine months respectively. Or well, nine months and four so months. I cannot stay for stream. Oh, no I worries. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me put this over here. This one over here. Uh, let's start the game. <laughs> Uh, we're doing gaming? Absolutely. Why is it... Go away, Zoom. Why was Zoom open? Uh, choose screen and subtitle language. Oh, let me uh, set the game capture. Uh, game capture, properties, Stanley Powerable. And then we'll move the entire overlay up. And my webcam up. Perfect. Oh, this song's sad. English. Confirm. Should just make it all French and force you all to learn French. Have you played Stanley Parable before? No. <laughs> Adjust the slide until the computer is barely visible. Okay, it's there for me. It's, it's weird, because on this screen, barely see it. Side screen, I can see it so clearly. It is weird. All right, all right. Confirm. Why is that big? Please enter the current time. It is... 8... 18. This is my time zone, being a British person. I know, I know. Awful. How could I? Uh, accessibility settings can be accessed from the main menu. Danke. Alright, I feel like I should turn the music off. I like the music, but... Alright. Let's jump right in. What? Yo, it's like you can see it can go into the, the sub-screens as well. Alright. Begin the game. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. Lovely. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. Thank you, Kaz. And although others might have considered it soul lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Yeah, a simple so job. You can just turn your brain off. But this Someone job. tells you what to do, you do Stanley. it. Fuck happy. it, not bad. That, if, as long as he's being paid a decent amount. And then one day, not, something not, very not peculiar awful, happened. Not awful, I've heard of Something worse. that would forever change Stanley. Something change he would never Stanley. quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Uh -oh. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all yes, his years at the company had so this sweet. happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. I love Shocked, his voice. frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, I can move now. Whoa, the sensitivity's high. Let me turn down that on my mouse a little bit. There we go. It's like, uh, you know, if you're watching something on your phone and then you just suddenly realize the entire world around you exists and it's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm in a room. <laughs> <laughs> or your phone turns off. Do you know that's what they call, uh, you know the show Black Mirror? Uh, like when your phone screen. There you go. It's a Black Mirror. That, that's you. This is you right there. Um, yeah, your phone is the black mirror. All right. Uh, what did he say? Can I do anything? <gasps> I 
Hello. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What could it Stanley mean? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, I can crouch. I like work. I just hate my boss. Ha <laughs> ha! Relatable content! Oh. Sorry. I hope you saved. Um. I hate Mondays. Thanks, Garfield. Is this a horror? Nah. When Stanley so. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Uh... Big decision. Big decision. We could either do what he says or go in the right door and do what he doesn't say. Or, or there's a third option. Do nothing at all. Fuck it. Here we go. This was not the I don't know which way is left. I, I, I had to check myself well. a little bit. Just Perhaps to be sure to which way was the right and left. Lounge first, just to admire it. Just to admire it. Uh, yes, Yo! truly a room They've got a vending admiring. machine with it cold really drinks. It really worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Drinking all the drinks, baby. So my sub renewal went through some time ago, but I yes, doing really, really, really worth it being here in truly, the room. Truly. A room Tweeting so utterly captivating that even though all so your co-workers have mysteriously days, vanished, so here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Oh, I didn't even look at the paintings. Thank you so much. 29 months, Cryptic? That's insane. That's uh, some nice, nice ocean. At this nice point, leaves. Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy. Hey, you told me to admire this place, dude. Okay, fine, I'll move on. I'll it's move possible on. that this is why everyone left. What the fuck? I'm staying in here just to spite you now. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. What's this say? Uh, oh, fuel. Yeah, fuel. Game. <gasps> what if life is the game? But at last, okay, he'd had enough of the amazing room moving. and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. What's this room? Stanley oh. was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Oh, I can't jump. Okay. I got an achievement saying you can't jump. Okay, thanks. And an achievement for guessing my first achievement. Do we, can we get a key card somewhere? Warning. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift. $5,000. I don't have that kind of money. Look, Stanley, uh -oh. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm it. not. I realize that investing in your trust in oh, someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been I was neglecting, nice Stanley. Stop okay. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. <laughs> Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really hey, do you want to help me you earlier. to this show you something your own, beautiful. Your own Look, let you me suggested prove everyone let left me because of me. I'm, on your side. I'm not Give me a really chance. appreciating your company right now. Can I open these doors? Oh, that looks important. Now listen like. carefully, this is important. It Stanley is important. walked Good to know. through the red door. I haven't listened to a single thing he said so far. Aha! Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, the st- I've been taken somewhere completely new. Uh, 
I still don't think we're communicating properly. Oh. Stanley walked through the red I gotta door. I got to try the white door at least. Okay, okay. Ha ha. Let's keep going, let's keep going. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. Thanks, you want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, yes. don't let me stop you. Awfully quiet. Do you see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because oh, you, you were never supposed to be here in the man. first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was yeah. it worth ruining the entire cool. story I had written out specifically for you? Specifically. Do you not think I put a lot Sorry, of time into that? Because I did. Months. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. I did. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. How could it be what strange? You could put me better. on a track. What did you Which want makes me to see stuff you purposely purpose? designed for everyone to see. Work with me. I can see the stuff you intended nothing for no so one far. to see. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. All right, let's see. There we go. A third option. Secret door! This already feels leaps yeah! ahead before. Woo! Go ahead, okay? I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Yeah! Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! You see, I knew Absolutely. I was onto something. Absolutely. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? So good, How did so I good. Know the game the is game so much better. The third door. Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. Your you can't soul. Teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on so the data from, from your previous playthrough, truly. I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with Let's this one. Let's go. I trust you this time. Oh. Worldwide leaderboard. Ninety-one thousand doors opened. One hundred and ninety-four doors attempted. Damn. <laughs> Below a dead rat? <laughs> Game's audio is a bit loud. Okay, uh, let me see if I can turn it down a bit. Let's see if that's better. Uh, you're 9,328 9, out of 9,328. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'll go back through this door now. Okay, well, we're locked in here. No no way I can uh, make now, that. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Okay, Again, so is the way to win this game just walk through as many doors as possible? Because if so, it gives me more purpose, more understanding. Absolutely. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Let's walk through many, many, many doors. In this game, oh. the baby crawls left towards danger. <gasps> you click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the meaningful? tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family Okay, as life. soon as this baby cries once, I'm sending him into the fire. You really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes Where he belongs. once you've been playing it for about four hours. So I know I've got a good chat when the entire chat is just going, burn sure it, it's burn it's the baby, burn the child. On your experience. Kill him. Oh, he's crying. Okay. Oh, that's a bad sound. I don't like that. Okay, he goes. You heartless bastard. Did you <laughs> babies are purely to spite me. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a can't single of thing here. that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Thanks, mate. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. 
Who, someone see. else's game. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Don't burn children. You clearly haven't been on a plane sitting next to a screaming shot. Uh -huh. Yo! I've been meaning to what play this game. This, game is about, this is Firewatch, right? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? <laughs> well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to goes play against the entire man, point. Spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. What? Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see National what else is National Forest of Wyoming. Oh no, not Wyoming. This place is pretty big. I still can't jump. Can I get chased oh, by, like, no. bears and things? No, 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 it can't be. What? What can't be? It is. It's an open world game. <gasps> Good God, quickly, block it off. No! No! Oh. Let me out! Thank Let me out! What a close call. Get me out of here, please. You wandered off into that, that thing, that big open just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any. Ooh. Oh, thank heavens we let me out. Let me out. Free me. Okay. I'm going to get I will make you sorry. Find another game, preferably something with walls, something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. A game with walls. <laughs> What's a game with walls? Okay. I think this will be just the thing. Attack on Titan? That's not a game. What? Wow. Rocket League? See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There Damn, isn't that's any some, possibility that's some quality that you grass. get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Okay, my mission to escape the stadium. I had some friends who were professional okay, so Rocket exactly League players. Do we do here? Let's see. There's usually there a ball. There's cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. I tried to play okay, it I'm once. I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind. It's not good. Here. Is this game sports ball? Sports Damn, ball? Sports ball. <gasps> Can I jump down the hole? Oh. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yeah. Run the bases, score a touch Thank goal, yes, and uh, <laughs> score a try in the end zone. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's get some speed up. Bonk. Get some speed. I believe. Yeah, we did it. I've now officially scored more goals in the Stanley Parable than I have in actual Rocket League. Stanley, I have a thought, and I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one sportologist. ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls <gasps> makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. <laughs> I'm going to Sorry, we're talking about Here multiple balls. balls. Let's fucking go, baby. Yes. Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? More balls! Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply <laughs> have to have more. I'm insatiable. <laughs> More balls! Insatiable for balls! Oh my god, dude! I'm not sure we're allowed to have this on Twitch anymore. Alright, let's get the balls in the goal. Stay on target. Are you enjoying this, Stanley? I am Are actually quite fun? enjoying this. Is this a real video game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good time because guess oh, no. oh! what are you doing? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Where'd the balls go? Um. Hello? Filling cabinets. 
Mr. Narrator. I don't have any uh, torch flashlight thing. What? Into the abyss, I guess. Have I entered the back rooms? Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Narrator? Oh, I recognize this room. Sending the good vibes, the red lilac tea. Thank you, Sarah. Um, oh, there's a light. I don't know why I made that tune. I'm not even sure where it's from. Uh, let's see if I can find my. Oh, there's my office. Hello. Beep beep boop 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 beep 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 boop boop beep boop 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 beep 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 boop 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 Cool. Um Oh I don't know I don't know Oh I wonder what he found Hello if what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own Mr. story, Mr. Narrator, he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now, I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy. I was very content, actually. It. Can you send He'll me back there? Soon, what I was trying to tell him, he needs me. I don't Someone need you. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. I only need myself in this, world. in this world. Oh yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here Bro, soon. I love Stan Lee. He made Spider-Man. Very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, yes. This is the Stan Lee parable. You know, the guy who made Spider-Man. Thank you, Zig. And Nordic, thank you so much for seven months. Um... Are we just back? What's happened? Where are we? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a Oh memory. man, this is the most productive no person's how hard test. Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Thank you so much, Milky. 18 months, that's a long time. Thank you. <laughs> Who farted? That looks like a code for something. Um Hello Hinako, thank you so much for four months. You absolute legend. Here's a dad joke for you. Why Hit me. Do seagulls fly over the sea? Why? Because if they flew over the bay, they would be bay gulls. <laughs> Great one. Great. Comedy. Comedy. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Well. At, le at least he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It's a 50 50 chance. Wow. Yes. This room. High quality room. Let's get a top up. Room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous, room. gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this deep, but eager to get back to business. Very Stanley eager. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, we've seen what's that way. I'm sure there's other stuff, but, you know, it's a big game. And so he detoured oh, through a the lift. maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back did on did track. Did 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 the end is never but the Stanley end. didn't want to go end. back to the it's office. The he it's wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Yes. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go um uh, uh, uh from here. It's um. It won't let me go back up. Left. Sir. It won't let me go back up. Uh.
The racer. Hello. Oh no. Oh. No, it's to the right, my mistake. What the fuck was that sound I made? Anyway. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? Yeah, it's what clear. were you thinking? Oh, SMH, dude. Minute, Ridiculous. Crazy. We all know it's uh, back up the elevator. Down, right, left, down, left, right. Let me up. 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 Absolutely. Definitely this way. Okay, we're cool. We're fine. Lovely. Why is there a truck inside? Five months already, Poggies. Poggies. Thank you so much, Geeky. Appreciate you. Thank you. Uh. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a But alas, I but am. Close your eyes. No. Okay, 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 okay. We just Fired. To get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste Wait, my can time I see myself? trying to salvage this Four, two, nonsense, seven. we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. Okay. What if I go do the exact same thing again? Run, run, run. Run, run, All run. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Speed. No one knows how fast I... When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? Uh, no, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely uh, restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Or did something change? Stanley, uh, did you change anything when we were back in that I'm scared. room? I'm scared. Things have changed. The story this is not or... supposed to happen. Why well, am I asking you? Exactly I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. And that's exactly what we're doing. Here somewhere. Okay, then. Thank you so much, Skazer. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Can I climb up here by, like, clipping into the boxes or something? No? Oh, this goes the same way. Uh, okay, I guess we'll just go a different way. Fuck it. Oh, this truly is the back rooms now. Uh-oh. Hello? Anybody here? Everybody knows what you did. They're just holding I'll back to let you this torture is the yourself. Worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise oh! you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just do we need to restart the game again? No. Well, I find it let me explore. We'll ever progress the by back starting rooms. over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why I'm not? thoroughly lost. Oh. Hello? All of his co-workers were, were gone. gone. What, what could, could it, it mean? mean? Stanley decided, Stanley decided, to, decided to, go to, to go to the meeting room. room. Perhaps, he, Perhaps simply he simply missed a memo. A memo. I'm going to see how good I can get at mimicking that. It... Okay, yep, it's worse. Yeah. I might be remembering this Let me more. out, please. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Genius idea. I, I really like the way you think, sir. Oh, someone dropped their coffee. L. Um, 420. Oh, it doesn't even try to open. Aha! I knew we'd Wait. miss something. The Is story. Here it comes. We just... Uh Okay. Casually breaking reality. Love it, love it. I'm here oh, for it. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Uh oh. Uh That's not where we came from.
Why does it get worse? Who did that? Okay. Now this, well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? This is from the I 1800s. So. I can't quite recall, but I believe nice my window, story though. took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Would you know what? No. Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? Let's restart you again. Win. <gasps> I win! Congratulations! Yeah! A lot of hard work, and it really Stream over, awesome. guys. Uh, Good that's job. the entire game. Um... Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know There's no credits or anything? Yeah, you could also at least credit the people, people who made the game. Sweat. I know it's just you, but, you know. this was not one of those situations. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by New speed run time. Is. I don't uh, care what might happen this time. What? I have to restart. Where's the... <gasps> a line! I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Woo! Just follow the line. How simple is that? Can't fuck this up. I'm going to trust you on this one. We usually go this way. Okay, line, the line follows this way. We'll go. We'll follow the line. The line. The claw. You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Oh, sorry, I cut Onward a corner. Stanley, I'm not allowed to do to that. To destiny. Though, here's a thought: Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another True. way. Is the story of no destination still a story? There's a story in, the act of moving in forward, every journey. Are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature Th of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That You're getting very philosophical about this. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. Yeah, he's you very confused. What? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <gasps> Exactly. I actually like this. This song is good. That's a lag ball. Peer reviews for what employ- Okay, sure. <laughs> Wait, cut the music. No! Back and look at that fern. Stanley, this Damn. fern will be very important later in the It's story. an interesting fern. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. Do you know you ferns existed at the time of the dinosaurs? They're some of the oldest plants to exist. They're very cool. Touch the fern. Good fern. Good little plant. <laughs> good fern. Good fern. Probably doesn't taste very good. Uh... Do we just continue? Did you see Saudis has been making animatics very loosely based off this game? Really? I highly suggest taking a look when you played through this. I, I had no idea. We can check that out. Wait, what? We're back at the office? <gasps> no, 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 no. You do know no. we're looking for the Stanley no. Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? The Parable of Stanley. It, that corridor shouldn't work. That corridor shouldn't work. That corridor goes that way. Okay, I mean, we already find out that that's not how the game works, but we'll, 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 we'll go on this adventure once more. Is your diamond piece worth 29 months? Jesus, it's a long time. You said I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this? Oh, that's to a good us? sign. And after like we sign. trusted you, after Four, everything two, seven, we've been there through, we are. you. 
No, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. No. Ah! I wanted to see our desk. <gasps> the line's still here. Woo! You know what, Stanley? I, I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? It, it Why can't we made me hear some of the best story? music I've heard Something so far exciting. this year. Daring, mysterious. Mysterious? Oh, Daring? sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? <gasps> An all new direction. Is it the only option I have? Okay, sure, sure, sure. Now, there's no this, line here. This is I feel lost. Just me and Stanley forging. I don't have a sense of purpose anymore. Story. Well, it could be anything. With no line. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh no. With no line. I have no purpose. With no purpose, I've got no direction. Perhaps my purpose is to move forward continuously, forever, in a loop. Okay, maybe not a loop. Hello? Oh, no, <gasps> not you again. Mine! I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. Fuck you, no I'm on blind side. Rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should Whee! be fine. Line! Let's go. Eh. I try to jump. I'm trying to be like Lucio in Overwatch where you can like jump and slide off walls. No, come back! Come back! No. Oh. Hopefully you'll come back soon. Ah, Love these choice. ominous rooms. We get to make a decision. Draw Yay, the decisions. In our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door. That leads here. Do you ever do that thing in and the pool in where you and a bunch of friends just start walking in a circle with that counter and you make like a whirlpool? Door's origin. So starting from the right, it's let pretty us fun. ask, will taking the right door This feels like that, but with air. Going? Do you think if you and got enough people and yes, ran in a circle fast accounts, enough, you can make like a tornado? The right is the correct one. Another victory it'd be pretty, logic. it'd be like, Come I don't know how many people, how fast you'd have to run because of course air is less viscous than water. Um, I've entirely not been listening to what he's been saying. Okay, fine. Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. Your we win! That's what this is. It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? We did it. It's we did it. Determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart There's again. There's a song I really want to put on, Am I just supposed to forget? I'm worried about tabbing out. Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Circles. Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... Deviates no, it from maintenance room, I up monitor room. I don't want the game to keep restarting. Aimless I, wandering. I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped Narrator like this. forgets previous restarts. Restart okay, so he's fallible. It. Love it. I won't do it. I won't do it. All right, so we... Uh oh. Does that mean? Um, did we Do we break, win? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that made this. Can we work together? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? something happen dude you're in charge of all this so okay. let me out this door doesn't even work i guess now we just wait you know i suppose in some way that this is a kind of story bum, wouldn't bum, you agree bum, bum, i'm not quite bum, sure if we're in the destination bum, bum, or the journey bum, bum, though they're bum, always saying that bum, life bum, is about bum, the journey and not the destination so i hope that's where we are right now we'll find out won't we eventually 
Every journey is well, a story. Meantime, Every life is a... Sorry, I need to I need to find a song because I, I want to uh, I want to play it at some point. So this is going to be, is it the price is right? I want the 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 is this the song? Yeah. Okay. If we win again, I'll, I'll play the song. I'll play the song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's continue. Can I... <gasps> I'm not leaving. Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome... Fell yeah, me deciding things? Fuck that. He had never been trained for that. No. This Let me hide under the desk. Anyway except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. Indeed, I'm brave. Be happy forever. I'm strong. Be happy. Stanley, what I can do this. Hours passed, then days. Had years, had years gone, gone by. by. He no longer had the ability to tell. Who the fuck but designed the these drawers? For sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. Very he soon. He will be told what to do. Tell me. Now it's just a little bit closer. <gasps> Tell me. Now Let me know. Closer. Here it comes. I'm jittering in it. You know what's awkward? Is VOD watchers won't be able to hear that music. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, they won't be able to hear that. So I kind of feel bad. Um, maybe I should open this on YouTube so it's it's uh, it's different. VOD watchers going to be so confused. Yeah, just dancey dance in silence. <laughs> All right, so you guys watching it live, you're getting the one and only live experience. All right. Uh, cool. Let's All continue. All of his co-workers were gone. What could, what it, could mean? it mean? Stanley decided oh, I... to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I wonder what would happen if I closed the door again. Ina, thank you so much. 32 months. Jesus. Thank you so much, Ina. Free Ruth. All right. Uh, wasn't there a door here before? Okay. Think about this game. Nothing is real. When Stanley came to a set of two, two open, open doors, doors he, he entered, entered the, the door, door on his on left. left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I want to go do the thing. The lounge that we tried sublime, to do again before breaking the entire bunch. game. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open, open door, door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Pop. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. I wonder if it's going to loop. Here Thank you so um, much, Riz. That's really sweet. Left. Let's go. Oh, no. Fuck. No, it's to the right. My mistake. No, 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 no. Not the right. Will this just Why repeat? Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on? We're going to try everything. They've probably also thought of everything. Let's see, we went down right, left, down. Okay, left, if this repeats, right. then we'll just yep, do something yep. else. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Let's go. Whee! Can 
Can I just restart? Okay, I begin the game again. No. No, 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 no. This no, 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 no. to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, never. Okay, okay, okay. We just, we just have to get. I saw our room. Oh, it was down there. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. okay. From the top. I'll, I'll, I'll follow your directions this time, I promise. All of this code the workers were gone. gone. What, what could, could it mean? mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps, Perhaps he had it simply, simply missed a memo. All right. Sup, doors. Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, okay, maybe I do need to no start again. No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the I monsters? I changed... Did you move the story My gender identity. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Yeah, oh, exactly. Use your brain. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Whee! Stanley. Okay, I'll Let's go the right way this time. The story. Uh oh. Uh oh. This doesn't look like a linear path. Uh That's not right. Watts, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Four months. I'm not sure why that didn't ding. That was weird. Uh, I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll right, ever right, progress right. by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, I think we just do this because it's, it's uh, getting very repetitive. Blech. See, I restarted it this time. I have the power to do that as well. What? Hello? Hello. Hi. This is a recorded message scheduled either by you or a person in your place of work. Cool. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, Please this right here is a recorded, recorded message. Cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Lovely. And have a pleasant day. Thanks. <coughs> Casually just saying, don't trust anything. Love it. Great. So cool. Where's the narrator? Surname access. I can't zoom in on that very close. Casting so much for 15 months. DM13 and a quarter to use. Thank you so much. When Stanley came, came to, to a, a set, set of two open, open doors, doors, he, he entered, entered the, the door, door on his left. left. Fuck it, let's do what he says for once. Yet there was not a single person. Tips for not getting there. fired. Feeling away There's no one here to find me. I can do what Stanley I want. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Push Maybe for funding for R and D of new coffee machine. Man, we need to research the best coffee machines. Standardized grass, forty times wide. The bigger the better. Get out of the broom closet. You can't just force someone to do that. SMH. Synergize papers. Hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized, guy. Synergized. Fire paper guy. Hire someone to fire the paper synergizing guy who <laughs> moved my desk. Please keep the targets on topic of. That's just that that that's that's that sound. <laughs> Uh, future was yesterday, tomorrow is now. And now is the present. Which is why they call it a gift. 
tomorrow completes today's unfinished agenda items. Right next day's agenda items. Reflect. <clears throat> Jim. Thanks, Jim. What did he say? bunch of random letters solving interpersonal conflicts if you ever find yourself in conflict with another diligent employee like you or yourself but more inclined towards conflict words 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 plant life Ooh. less air comatose <laughs> uh, talk less do unbelievably amazing work all the, all the time every day with no expectation for, of promotional recognition don't get fired great Lovely. Buy quarterly post review review. Man. Business business. Sorry, it's my notification. Why isn't my uh I still get notifications. Even though I'm supposedly of streamer mode on. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I just had to fix that quickly. Bi quarterly? That either means every other quarter or uh twice a quarter. Everyone is neat. Use unique. You most of all. Thank you. I know I am. <gasps> the closet. It's where I belong. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was yeah. nothing here. So he turned Woo. around and got back on yeah. track. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Josie, thank you so much for fifteen hundred bits. You legend. Thank you. There was nothing beep, beep, here. Beep, beep, beep. No choice to make, broom. no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Broom closet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not coming out. You can't make me. Baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Sweet fuck all. Um, let's make the closet more interesting. Are you are you really still in the broom closet, standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. God, the vod watchers are going to be so confused. Du, 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 du. You do realize there's du, du, no du, choice du, or anything in here, right? Du, du, if I said du, 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 Stanley du, 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 walked du, 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 past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. It didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my... There's a broom closet ending? Let's go! Thank you so much, Little Wolf. Really appreciate Stanley five gifted subs. Iced over off. Thank stupid. you so much for five hundred bits. He probably only got the job because of a family Good connection. Luck. That's how stupid he what? is. That all with drug money. Drug also, money. Stanley is addicted to drugs <clears throat> and hookers. How did you know? Who are you? How do you know my past? Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. I'm a ghost. Got to this broom closet. Explored it a bit. And we're just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical melody of some sort shut down your central and you'd be absolutely correct well in a situation like this the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose that would be helpful Hello? anyone who happens to be nearby the person nearby. is dead they have fallen prey to any I love his voice. Thank you so much, Cyberwolf. Appreciate it. Thank you. Vulnerabilities. It's indicative vulnerabilities. of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please it's remove bitches. their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video yeah, at least game we know mechanics I'm human. and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Uh, <sighs> okay. I. I 
think we've got to go out and get out of the closet. I know. I know. It's, uh, it's, it's a hard, hard thing to do. Very challenging. A lot of, uh, a lot of hard decisions may have to be made. I want to see there's one more bit of, one more bit, see if he's got one more thing to say, you know, to a dead body. Uh, stop, we can reason. What do you propose? What do you propose? Perhaps. What would you give me to stay in this closet even longer? Alright. Look at you, five goats? That's a lot of goats. That is a lot of goats. I am also getting bored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. We're leaving. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. Second player? T, you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Came out of the closet. So proud. So proud. Coming to a staircase, staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Down there looks a little bit like hell. Here for stream, welcome. That's not the office. <gasps> I can piss. Be rich? Is it a crime to commit crimes? Isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. Lovely. Did you know over the course of the pandemic, two thirds of all money earned, like profits earned, went to the top 1% of society? Now you do. All right, there's nothing in here. What's in here? Doors monthly? Shapes? Amazing. Amazing. There's an Evelator. Can I go up? Do I hear the narrator, like, humming over this? down feeling this doesn't go anywhere. That was good vibes. I appreciate it. 
Damn. Stepping into Compensating for something, buddy? Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shot, beep, beep, boop, boop, unraveled, boop, boop, Stanley Oh, you got globes? I fucking love Who globes. orchestrated this? What dark Can secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth That's that a his big boss keypad. had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin oh. number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Uh... No. Uh... One, Stanley just three, sat around three, twiddling his thumbs. Seven. Trying to input anything on the device was no. useless, uh, since he could never possibly know that the combination hmm. was 2845. 0420? Oh, no. 2845. 1, 2, 3, 4. I can't possibly know. There's like, what, 10,000 options almost? 9,999? Actually, no, there's 10,000 oh, because there's 000. zero, zero, zero. The Let's try that. Emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. Whoa! They got the hell along with the story. Amazing! How, what? How'd that happen? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's wild. <gasps> Piano. Oh, zero 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 must be the correct one. Absolutely, we'll try that next time. Hello. All right. Don't you ever later we go. See ya. No elevator music. Bruh. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized into the belly of the beast. Peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. <sighs> Can I go back up? Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. <laughs> he actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. The end is never the end. The end, the end is never the end. Well, this elevator opens two ways. Can I go up again? Uh-oh. Now both buttons don't work. Um, I'm sorry for disobeying you. Here we you. are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Yeah. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. Chianti. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. See, uh, you got you got to have a, a second writer, right? You have. An incisive, rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow! <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Fuck. Uh. Awesome works, okay. Incredible. Oh, it didn't let me go up. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Let's go! How does he keep coming up with all of this? I'm a genius, that's why. So smart, so smart. Someone did Pet Kitty? Okay, we can do Pet Kitty. Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he?
Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. No. It's time once again no. to go back up in the elevator. Yes. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is Demons. it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is crazy. Killing. No one would ever think it could be the boss's office. <laughs> Before we go down again, I'll show you the cat. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! It's the boss's office. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. That's Give crazy. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! It needs I more, need time, more to time to process. And I need more time to pet my cat. There we go. There we go. Perfect. This right here is Minty. He's a lovable lad. He's also 16 years old. Old chap. I have fully come to terms. Come to terms with it. All right. I all right. Have space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. I was about to make a bad joke there. I am an expert in the gripping of narrative. Ah, damn. Nope. Tragic. Tragic. Don't be sure I made the joke. I've missed my shot. Missed my chance. <sighs> you can just hear me tapping things. Alright. Of course. Going back down in the elevator. How did I not See, anticipate? Not everyone thinks I mean, like sure, I do. Now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. Exactly. no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. Revelatory? the fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. <sighs> no, okay. See, you thought I was going to go back up again. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Ishk Ape. The lights rose. Whoa, I've never seen this before. Oh my god! Terrifying, terrifying secrets. Hello? Hello? Spooky guy. Echo. 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 Ah. Okay. Boop. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Brrr. Each bore the number ah, of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Freedom meant nothing. Okay, buddy. <gasps> I can go up. Pog champ. Boop. 
This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Couldn't be real. Under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? What's on that one screen up there? You can see the, the little, uh... It's like it's corrupted or something. Right clicking makes me walk forward? What? Okay. Down we go. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. Oh, His own life Whee! in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? See ya. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind, blind to, to the, the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over One, another human life. For two, he would dismantle the controls once and for adult all. Adult swim. Then we push your buttons. <laughs> That's number five. There's more buttons up there? Is this like a puzzle? Do I actually have to put brain source into action? Oh, there's a gate. Is that a gate? Okay, let's go see what's in the facility power. Do we turn it on? Mind control idle, awaiting input. Wait, I can do voices. Uh, test, test, test. Mind control idle, awaiting input. <laughs> and when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay. Oh. Sound like a Dalek. Yeah, I wasn't intended to go for that, but it kind of ends up like that. chill of uncertainty. Was it over? He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be a serious but moment. Let's be serious. Sunlight streamed into the chamber. He realized none of Nothing, this mattered to him. None of this mattered For to him. It was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, serious, serious. it will be his. And that was, was a all bridge he over there. To know. It was oh, perhaps rock walls. the only thing worth knowing. Oh, and a parking lot. Door. That's how you know you're in America. Perfect. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Including the bit where I went up and down and up and down and up and down the elevator a bunch of times. I got the achievement, beat the game. That's the game.
That's all you need. Uh, cool. We're back at the start again. <clears throat> the end is never the end. Is never the end. Is never the end. The end. Stanley knew the office layout yeah. like the back what? of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. New dialogue. Just a matter of time. Only a matter of time. Man, that subtitle wasn't correct. Uh... Hello? Did that feel shorter than before? Man, I am losing my mind. When Stanley came to, to a, a set, set of two open doors, doors he, entered he entered the door, the door on his left. left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave Synergize. of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, love, hoping he love might it. find an answer <clears> there. <throat> oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please, <laughs> Sorry, I may have got a little bit too invested in that. Um, so, what's up, man? It's ultra deluxe. It's ultra deluxe. Yes. I'll be back. I promise. Let's go down this time. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. How the fuck? How did you part that? Just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, what? admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, congrats for coming. Oh, thank you. I risk. came out to the closet, guys. All because he believed. How do you get your car down here? That's his boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. A little bit crazy. Maybe he thought to himself, maybe a little bit I crazy, am crazy. Cookie. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. This is true. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Uh-oh. Why did doors close automatically behind him where I assumed you were doing it. And for that matter, B. these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too coffee strange. Coffee nuts. This can't be real. And I wouldn't last, want that in my he coffee. he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! <sighs> he yelled. I'm dream? This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this I'm while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Uh, 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 then he uh, imagined let me down. himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Aww. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not marveled. <clears throat> How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? 
uh, I had just assumed I'd gone insane, you know. Stanley, who found it particularly strange. You're like an inner monologue I type thing, but with a better voice. Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. He and thought he thought. thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of Let course, me out, please. this was not a dream. How could it be? <gasps> was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Farted. Lovely. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock, shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this I don't know why I'm just going in circles. Did the voice not see him here to make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself, too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. I am in that this control. Was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he uh, invited no, himself no, to no. wake up. I'm not doing this. This isn't me. The cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Mm. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Let me. I'm through wake with this up. dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife. Technically, I push buttons for a living. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. I am definitely Everything not normal. Fine. But go on. I am okay. I'm not, but thanks. Alien, thank you. I'd give you steam status animation. Stanley began Stanley screaming. Ah! Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone ah! hear my voice? Who am I? Ah! And everything went black. Just turn the lights off. Click. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Hi, Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any <clears> other. <throat> she arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and oh. walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. I and died? I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. For just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. Everyone. Moment, she thought to herself, Perhaps you're one of them. Dun dun dun. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain <laughs> Stanley be like dead. <laughs> I fucking love that email. Remember the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life she had no time for this so it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body lovely and then she turned and ran didn't even call an ambulance or anything so helpful so amazing thanks mate really appreciate it this is different I just wanted to go do this. Yo, E7 Lance. Thank you so much, uh, Faith Lily, for gifting yourself and subscribing yourself. I just wanted to go and die quickly. Dude, I died next to my cat, and he just goes right next to me. Doesn't care. Doesn't care at all. SMH. Um, <laughs> didn't look at my computer for five seconds. What happened? I died. I'm back now, though. You know, like that Jesus dude. Anyway. 
Uh, let's get back to the game. <laughs> it filled him with joy. Look what I can do. He died. He died. He's dead now. He's dead. Alright, let's get back to the game. Oh, I can't close the door. Where? What? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Huh? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Yo, we won! Dog mode? We won, guys. We won. Okay, let's keep moving. Dude, these parts are going to be so weird for the VOD watchers. I'm sorry, VOD watchers. <laughs> Let me out. Huh? Okay. When Stanley came, came to a set, set of two open doors, doors he, he entered, entered the a door, door on his left. left. Sure. What are you going to bring me this time? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Where's the dog? I activated dog mode. No! No! Let me in! Let me in! This is a tragedy. Great loss. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs. I have a feeling you'll just loop office. again if I go downstairs. Uh, let's go up. <sighs> yeah, up. This looks, like, this looks like that one Minecraft painting. There's a Minecraft painting that vaguely looks like this. It's got like blue at the top, kind of like yellow in the middle, and kind of like dark at the bottom. What? Every time I click it barks. I hope none of you have got your speakers on and dogs in real life. This might get a little bit... No! What the fuck? Business strategy is shooting pandas? Okay, I need, I need some uh, relaxing... Relaxing music to help me get over that. I don't think I've been in a single... I mean, I'm sure I have, but I can't think of a single lift where I actually heard music. 
Can I go back down? Nope. Okay. It's like elevator music is the whole thing. Office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an was indication it? Two, of any human eight, life. What Four, could it mean? Stanley five. wondered aloud. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible. He didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Fuck you. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. Are you so correct? He relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Oh, come on. Ooh. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated. Oh, Stanley very much. Calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Whee! This. What? Is this actually anything, or I could see so little. Yeah, I think I did that. That's like a thing I'm not supposed to go behind. Anyway, uh, let's go. Let's go to the left this time. Hey, I was going to see if I could press the button while outside of it, but they thought of that. It seems. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that nope. read Mind We're going towards Control the escape. Facility. Whee! Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Let's go! Violent death! The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No! At this point, Violent death. conscious, Woo. concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yeah, violent death. Whee. Violent death. Yeah. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, it reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Okay. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he what the? Willingly Why would you say that? His brief and shallow life. Damn, that looks incredibly violent. Hit me. Hit me. Try me. You can't even try. See? Pussy. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was going helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Melina. Meliana, sorry. Appreciate you. Nine months. Thank you. What's this way? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd entirely forgotten about dog mode. <laughs> Stanley Parable. Lovely. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Accomplish. What is this place? Who are you? What did you do with my narrator friend? You can walk has been Not sure I can call him friend, but... In advance. Death becomes meaningless, making life... It's very bright same. in here. Do you see now? I'm sorry for anyone who's in a Do dark room right now. Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start. What? No, it can't be. Oh, it's the layout. Cut. 
corridor. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Lovely. I'm so glad we found dog mode. The boss's office. Screens from the development of the boss's office. Very cool. Very nice. What's in here? What of the show us stuff we've not found yet? The lounge? Sure, we'll get him right back on track to where he was supposed to be in the story. Kevin Brighting, the voice and the racer, recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years' development. These are clips from early takes that were not used in the final game. Now look closely, Stanley. See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design. Textbook mistake. I can bark. It's the kind of thing you pick up on intuitively if you have even the most fundamental understanding of the good and bad is. Stanley brought the green being you will probably spend the next hour trying to solve it. Here, Where I'm just going to make Thanks, this Kevin. easy for managers. Oh, I don't know. How about they're throwing a surprise? This is just like a museum. Hello. Oh, thank you so much, Kai. Kai. Kaikala? I hope I'm saying the name right. Probably not. But thank you so much for five months. Nope. The countdown room. Kaikala. Set it right. Perfect. Thank you. The Zending. Screenshot depicts early version known as Zending, which is eventually cut and merged with other parts of the game. Lovely. What's this? Who are you? Zending. Is this a thing we haven't found? Oh. There's a vent? Oh, Mongoose. Apartment? Previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending, a time would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Ooh. Uh. <gasps> Money! <laughs> Narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out, uh, we asked people to email the racer for questions. While we initially planned to use these further promotion for f use these further promotion materials, we never found a perfect use for them. Here are a selection of these emails. Oh, there is a skeleton inside of you. Question brought forth by the intense passion of my soul. Am I Stanley? Why are you spying on me? I. What? Will the game feature capybaras? Answer the question. How do you stay in shape? <laughs> Sincerely, The Rock. Lovely. Uh. Hello? <gasps> it's our office. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. Lovely. Cool. There has to be something I should do. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. <laughs> oh. All right. 
See you, game. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. I trust you. I trust this lady. But. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. You're not the one I know! I choose death. Someone just said Flat Stanley, which is a series of books I think I read when I was like seven. <laughs> Completely forgot it. Wait. No! The dog barks are gone! No! All of his co workers were gone. What, what could it could mean? It mean? He's back! When they decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mr. Memo. Mr. No memo. Matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't uh, find a trace of his co uh, The end is never the end. The end is never the end. 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 The end is the end. Never the end. Lovely. Cool. This seems like a useless window. Um. Let's just turn off all these negative. What? How the fuck did I get on the desk? How do I input the 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 things? Is it the the computers? No. How 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 did I do? What happens? Who did this? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but yeah. it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it, did it now. advance the story in any way. Input receive? Maybe I can input a new thing every loop? Wait, if I can climb on that desk, maybe I can climb on another desk. Hello? Boxes? No? Okay. Well, I tried. Hardly. I did try. Why could I climb up that? Oh, is the box sideways and that's just like the little extra height you need? Or like... Weird. Uh, let's continue. Don't mind if I do. Oh, new content. New content. What does that mean new content. I paid a whole ten extra dollars for this newer version of the game. This is what it's all about. Woo! New content. It's like Half Life. Woo! New content. Yeah. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra, Ultra Deluxe. Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013, 2013? on all computers. After 
after receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles oh. and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley More. Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Who's Alex Hook? Please. Step inside and see what thrilling new adventures Sorry about that, that was my the dogs Stanley upstairs. Parable, Ultra Deluxe. Oh well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Very good. Uh, my dogs and cats don't get on very well with each other, so which is why the cats are separated down here and the dogs are separated up there. Um, and I imagine... Uh, they saw one of the cats. It happens sometimes. Um, and so the cats can run outside and then climb on the walls and the dogs can't do that, so it's fine. But the sound is quite distressing. Sorry about that. Alex Hirsch, the creator of Gravity Falls. Oh shit, really? Cool. Puppy, I want to see them. They're upstairs, but they're... they're this is the downstairs safe area for the cats, and I want it to be their safe space. Do you use spider cats? Dude, cats can climb walls pretty effectively. Okay, no going back. Let's go. New content! Okay, so far it's an elephant. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just Let's a go. mesmerizing adventure. Woo! Evelator! Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, there we go. All right, fine. Yeah! Last, it's on to the new content. I've new content! I'm more ready. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mm, look at this plywood. Tedious. Oof. It's amazing. Simple... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. What is the, the density content, of Stanley. this fiber board? Um, <gasps> Wait, I can jump? All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. Yo! This is game changing. Boing, 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 boing. Boing, boing, boing. I've got to conserve my jumps. Boing. Wait, can I jump out of the circle? No, the light brings me down quite fast. Yeah, I was outside the circle for a bit. There we go. Jumped over the line. Why am I limited jumps? It makes them more rare, more special. You spent a whole 10 extra dollars, you only get like 30 jumps? For each of those jumps? It's, uh, it's 30 cents per jump. Actually, it was pounds, so it's even more expensive. Whee! Okay, we'll go down to 10. I feel satisfied, and yes, we still have some jumps remaining. Just, just, just in case. For safety. Alright, let's continue. It's, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. Not. There has to be something else, right? Okay, one more jump, one more jump, one more jump, one more jump. Whee. Okay, okay, I'm satisfied, I'm satisfied. Whew. Sad. A sense of melancholy. Melancholy. Me me melancholy. Initial impressions of this game are mel not positive. It's just elevators and sense of sadness overcoming me. Perhaps never being able to jump content. ever again. If this is new content. Then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's twenty hours of new content right there. Hell, I could. It only takes twenty hours to read the dictionary. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if oh wait. Melancholy? Very good. Yes. I knew there Thank had to you. be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever <gasps> it is. Let's see it. Do it. 
a bridge. Yo, that's crazy. It's not even an accurate time, SMH. Whoa, we crossed the bridge. That's wild. That's wild. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens uh, when greedy video game developers for no respect for their Sorry, what are you saying? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I I intend to find these people on Twitter. It was enough for me. It was enough. Enough for me. Oh no, he uses Twitter. No! Narrator, don't do it! Don't use Twitter! have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable No! No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say? You've insulted me, but sure. Don't get cancelled! Uh... Oh, there's music now. Do, 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 do. Psst! Stanley! Among Come us. over here! In the vent, I want to show you something. Okay, okay, okay. I... A mongoose. Hello. They're going back now. Wee. Malk of Tarona, thank you so much for nine months. How about that? The whole Twitch baby right there. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how okay. much better the Stanley Parable hey, used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just are you not the okay? Secret. Take a look. Oh, we're supposed to continue down the tunnel. Ooh. It's like el entering Elden Ring. Oh, it's a modern... I call it the memory zone. The it's memory zone? I'm all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences the like light. the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. I miss the dog barks. I want them back. Wait, wait. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? I never played it. I have no idea. When the game originally launched. No. Back then, video games had integrity. Did back they? Then, it all meant something. <gasps> they got a BAFTA? Oh. <laughs> Did they win a BAFTA? Ba BAFTA? Thank you so much. Four geese in a trench coat. Terrifying. Me. I'm part of the exhibit now. Uh, good times. Mozilla Firefox. Alright, alright. I get it, I get it. Our first kiss. My first car. The release of the Stanley Parable in 2013. <laughs> Lovely. Happy memories. Just wanna say you're awesome. Aww. Thank you so much, Lemon Dragon. Really appreciate that. Smile because it happened. <gasps> and dollar. Screenshot that. There we go. Now I'm gonna print it. Um Go outside, don't play for five years. 
BAFTA nominee. Lovely. Nominee. Nominee. Didn't win a single one. L. Um... My phone overheated when you picked the cat up, so I missed the petting session. Oh no! Tragic, tragic. I mean, it wasn't so much a session, more. No! Little Stanley! Can't believe this. It's tragic. Don't listen to them print the money. I mean, of course I'm going to. I took the screenshot. They just gave me a free money. Thank you so much, Sign Dread, for the bits. You've got a lovely bench here, designed for sitting on. Is this French? Oh no. I speak French and I regret it. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism, 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, yeah, Stanley right, Parable mate, strives uh, and then succeeds lads. to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. Mm -hmm. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. Man, these are some high-quality rocks. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. Look at the way the, the lighting moves on them. Now, that's that's quality right there. Husk with an hour Jeez. of new elevator content. <gasps> Elevator content. <sighs> Can't wait. Can't wait. The tasteful nostalgic. It was good. Ever. Minecraft? Uh, uh, cool. <laughs> uh. Sure, okay. No entrance into the maintenance zone. Lovely. Person of the year. This looks confusing, no thanks. Uh, French. For Scott K, whoever that is. Hey. Let me out. Here's another moving passage. This time from GameStop. Spot. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers mm, some yes. of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine Repeatable out of carpet you get textures. It, Ooh, fascinating. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Video game memories. <sighs> These were simpler times, Stanley. Oh, well, that's but I wouldn't give here. to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's that? Memory's here? not very good then. Bark, 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 oh, bark, no. Bark. oh God, no, Stanley! It's a collection of reviews from Steam. Oh no! Video game distributor. <laughs> I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine uh -oh. what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh, this can't be good. Honestly, <sighs> I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny. With his um, humor and dark, funny to be more irritating than entertaining. Um, funny. <laughs> <laughs> funny. I 
I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose you have a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of I've... profound philosophical insights that I can't even I can see the future. Have the I'm so good. Them. Um, funny. Outrageous. How could he? Uh, where are we supposed to go? These reviews are real, by the way. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, this game is a uh, meta. I love it. Hello. Anybody out here? Oh, that's a bit too echoey. Hello. Yeah, there's different types of echo I can put on there, but I can't be asked. <gasps> Another review. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, mm, 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 for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? Preachy? preachy? Am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is oh, actually quite goodness. shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy I don't as know what terse well, means. I always thought it did. But maybe it was like short, brief, oh dear. concise. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks on my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Oh. Like I let these people down. Oh. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Poor guy. Heard a Minecraft cat dying. It was the door. Reviews. <clears throat> Hello. Well, no, go no going back from here. Ugh. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. 9.8 hours and I love seeing button. reviews on well, Steam where it's well, like this yes. game sucks yes, no one play it 8,000 hours. Actually too preachy then then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment surely it couldn't hurt. Yeah. Not if it means we can strike these negative Let reviews swim. from the record. Only positive what reviews is... of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today and it's always been my motto. I do anything for the customer Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Wee. Oh, let me off. I want to swim. Uh. Uh. Where did existence go? And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm okay. very proud okay. to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a, game, a game for the, for the people. people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Okay. I'm back! Oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and uh -oh. lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe... I don't care what you believe. Oh, well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? Yes. But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's the right hour at your fingertips to go, okay, so it's, like it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. Yeah, that, that last skipped one almost an hour. I want to say maybe 30, 45 <clears throat> minutes. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can really <laughs> on to myself about. I know it's shocking, isn't it? But at shocking. Any point, I do suggest that we not press Where? the button again. The door's the gone! Skip button has been Where'd the door go? And we can say Give me the door back! And Wait, <clears throat> how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? 
I don't feel quite certain that there was one here before. Let me out of here! We have gotten into the room in the first place. I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like out. that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently large crack in the wall? There's only Obtaining one way for me to feel for satisfaction. Us to move on and to please step away to from the skip my time. button. To go anywhere other than the skip button. It was a door. Stanley, 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 please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no Times way by out 12 each time. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. Okay, and you start no digging. Door, Stanley. I'll be right no back. Door. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Hello. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. A week? Or well, two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Oh, a single plant. person to speak with. Give me some and water. I think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Yeah, what do you think my that mouth doesn't exactly work. exactly the same as always? Doesn't that At least in game. Like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm oh. realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there there we to be go. a vessel Therapy, dude. through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every branching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. You'll burn the it! The single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley... I can hear you. If you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Maybe <sighs> I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? Perhaps. Thank you so much, Noah. Yes. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time. But if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence. All right. Consumed by oh, hello. It's hello. you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything. Oh, Ooh, the plant's I've dead. Had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. A year? Down in one place and not move for one entire year. Let me describe it for you. It's called meditation. Again, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. Processing those regrets. All, regret Understanding the them. Time, moving past Days, them. Months. It's a process. I lost it all I'll let you do more of it. Of the What's it been? Twelve years? Hello? Mr. Narrator? I'm gonna assume he's sleeping. Bonk! I can do that too. Is annoying. Fast forward. But they didn't understand the game. <gasps> You're was alive. Not meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned, they bemoaned and screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, "Entertain us." It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic <clears throat> little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful Damn, demands. Damn, still on but this after like a century. Too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising Aww, heart the guy. words that they are speaking. Anyway, the he's world. not seen. I'm here. As though Hello. The beat was horrible to my ears. Yeah, sorry about that. Hello. Anybody here? I want to try and do a a thing.
different type of... What's this one? Hello? Oh, there we go. Test. Test. There's different types of echoes. Hello? Test, test. Hello? Anybody here? Woo! Okay, cool. That works. Got different types of echoes now. <clears throat> so I can have ones for big rooms like this. Hello? Then ones for smaller rooms like this. Is there anyone in here? Cool, that works. <clears throat> Narrator's dead. The end is never the end is never the end. End is, is never the end 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 is never Also I did see that pet kitty we got a while ago, so I, I we will uh the end is never 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 the end Blop. Uh oh Hey man you want to fix that So uh, you know I'm kind of stuck in one place so I uh, I'm kind of relying on you to keep me safe Wait. The plot! No, the plot! No! My boy. What did you do to my boy? Anyway. <gasps> the light. Ah. The clock too? Come on, man. Queen. The plant has sprouted new life. I need to play Portal. I don't know why this reminds me. I think I've seen clips from Portal of just like the overgrown like test chambers or something. I've never played Portal. I want to play that. Bonk. No, the plot. Ah! Who did this? I don't want to know what that sound is. Boop. You did this, Sarah. I was not given a choice. <gasps> Finally, an escape. But after 10,000 years, do I want to leave? It's all I've known. The inside of this room, the one other life form inside it. Alone. We must push forward. The future may be scary, but we have to. This is the future. <sighs> All right. 
Disney is how deserts work. Pick a direction and start walking. And we're back. Uh, is he dead? We'll find out. Okay, let me get a cat because uh, Adam redeemed Pet Kitty and uh, I owe you Kitty. Pussy we'll incoming. him just like wedged underneath like the doors here little cat break much needed cat break after we had to question the meaning of eternity my boy minty you can see his little white whiskers all right you want to get down there you go my friend <sighs> Old lad, love him. It's like uh, it's like it was actually in. Uh... <laughs> Boop. Okay, I love him. Hey, do you mind if I draw you? I could. Yeah, absolutely. Well. No, you never, you never need to ask to draw me at all. Uh, and if you do draw me, please put it on my subreddit because uh, we will look at those all on stream and stuff. Um, yeah. All right. Back into the game. Hopefully the narrator's still alive. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome That's by accident. Let me out. He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any He's alive. So but I'm trapped. What to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy. Bork, 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 bork. I woof, will be woof. happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Is had he part of the game? By? He no does he even the know to the game has been restarted? But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond How much any does doubt, he know? was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Almost Eventually, two years to shoot her. Thank you so much, dude. Arrive. And hopping soon, peaches. Stanley couldn't handle the riz coming in from the closet. Yeah, they locked it off from us. To. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now Thank you so much to shoot her. Here it comes. It came. Whoa. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room. And the from meet then on, room. he would never be alone ever again. Why is this off? This was on before. Uh, and we've got a hype train. Let's go. Slidey cast, thank you so much for 300 bits, you legend. Thank you. Heard a door. Pretty sure there's a door closing behind us. Because it does. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I see how that works. Okay, just checking. Someone said there was a door. Let's go. Let's continue. New, new content. Pog Champ. All right, let's go. Oh good, you noticed my sign. <gasps> yes, I did! I your new sign, sir! To show you. It better be good. Whee! It's awfully dark in here. 
Hello? Okie doke. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. Are you calling me disappointing? What the fuck? And any new content for it should live up to that legacy. Yes. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. One Which is step why beyond. I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Yo! He's had like a billion years to develop this. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely Yo. new experience built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Absolutely. Invest to showcase. I've got so much money. Taste the sequel. I've got so much money to invest. Calling a whole three dollars. It's just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? It's Ultra Deluxe. Stanley Parable 2. I love now that these are all like the... <laughs> statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation. Progress. And long term franchising progress. potential. Frog champ. New content is out. New, new content is out. New content part two is in. <laughs> Old and busted, new hotness. Yeah. I don't want to read that name. Froms four, thank you so much for six months of sub. The rest of your name. Maybe not so much. <laughs> <coughs> You're killing me. Um, yo, he's got a PowerPoint presentation. He's prepared. The Stanley Parable 2. The Stanley Parable 2. The Stanley 2 Parable. The Stanley Parable 2. The Stanley Paratuple. Thanks for attending my meeting. That's so cool. That's so cool. <gasps> the fun! They have the fun! Groundbreaking. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Let's take I a look at its features. That if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Yeah. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical. Twice the fun. If we simply just double everything, then uh, surely it'll be better. Twice the Stanley. New features. Me. Why the? F Why is there a bus? Okay. Sure. Ah. <sighs> Man, the amount of money you've invested in this is clear. Whatever the game is must be really good. Why are you shutting me in here, sir? Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. You yeah, got much. So cool. So cool. Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket, the button that says the name of the player that's playing the game. Hear your name in the game. For the Stanley Parable 2, I ask myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Absolutely. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? If this says Eret, I'm going to be impressed. If this says Alistair, I am going to be terrified. Um... Jim. 
Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in I want to see game, someone actually called Jim play name, this. Whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, okay, okay. okay here we Let go. me come up the let's stairs. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, <coughs> forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I, I want you am to Jim. Imagine yourself I have always Jim. been Jim. Sleeping and waking as Jim. I know my life is Jim. Broken as Jim. Jim. Seizing all of the world's Jim. possibilities as Jim. And as Jim. Watching your dreams crumble Jim. into dust. Jim. Do you feel it with me? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, we then please step Jim. forward and press the button. I'm Jim. I'm Jim. My name is Jim. I've always been Jim. Jim. Whoa! <laughs> yes! Whoa! You see? What a thrill! What a rush! That was you! The button described you! Ah! Do it again! Do it again! Jim! Ooh. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's amazing. That's amazing. Best game ever. Stanley Parable 2, best game. Uh, get it all the awards for everything. So good. So good. Let's go! Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. There's never such thing as too much. Otherwise, soon you'll start to lose all sense of who you actually are. Jim. Jim. No. No, bring it back. Bring it back. It's the only thing that was making me happy. It's gone. How do I know if I'm Jim? You Stanley Parable. Also Jim. Jim. Do you think Jim Jims? I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Want to see the bucket? Feature. Yeah. Everyone not called Jim. Banned. Gone. Forever. I want to go to the bucket. I want the bucket. Bucket, bucket, bucket. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it but, engendered a chaotic where's sense the bucket? of hopeless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, Give it. anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps Gimme. even comforting. Gimme. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the, I want bucket, the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. <laughs> Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes. The bucket is the Give it to solution. me. Come on. Give it a try. Give it a try. <laughs> How dare you laugh at me? The of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma It's as well. all the bucket. None I of it's me. just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Truly, truly. I mean, un truly understandable, honestly. On on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Alright, I'm keeping this bucket. Look at this. The bucket's got reflections. Look at that. Oh, So good. So good. Beautiful game. Beautiful game. Still doesn't let me Does jump. Does anyone but... give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it... Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? <laughs> Get well someday, because it's not even soon. It's, uh... 
You know, Just sometimes get well. when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. No! Birthday, step niece. No! Or actually, maybe I should have gone with. No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Come now. You've already made your choice. It's true that you chose badly, but we all have to move on from our mistakes. Change it back. Change the other one. Change it. Fuck you. Asshole. What the fuck? Collectibles? Oh, this is a completely different air. <gasps> we still have jumps! I knew I shouldn't have used it all. You know what, Stanley? I actually think the jump circle was a pretty good idea. I'd like to hang on to that for the sequel. <laughs> okay, okay. One more, one more, one more. We'll make this one count. We'll get a running, we'll get a running start into this one. Then we'll five more. Do you feel that elevation? That was terrifying. Jesus. Oh my god. Exhilarating. Collectibles? Ooh. Ah, collectibles. Yeah. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2. Gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward uh, for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the bodies? joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. They all want it so badly, I should have it, you know. I found it! Blink. Collect them all. I'm gonna resell it on eBay. Fuck the kids who buy it for fun. I'm God, gonna sell it, really it on eBay for three thousand dollars because I can. Video game. And then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Free achievement. <gasps> let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get a free achievement. Run, 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 run. I hate there's no sprint button in this game. I'm going to feel so accomplished. Pull the lever. Receive your new achievement. No more steps. It just works. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? No. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Lovely. All right. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist right now. No! It's still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley. But I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you. And I promise it will happen. I am sure you hear the gamers. Surely, if you understood our needs, you would have put this in the game by now. One more time. Pull me, please. Pull me, please. Pull me, pull me, pull me, please. Alright, cool. So far, I've only got this bucket and that collectible. Not feeling very accomplished. What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? The epilogue. The epic log. The, the eblog. Oh my god, that's a sound I've not heard in a very long time. 
epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, uh, An epilogue. Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Is that it? <gasps> Infinite hole? <laughs> Sorry. Um, what's up here? Okay, nothing. Let's go to the whole, whole time. And I've got my bucket to keep me company, so you know I'll be fine. Concrete contemplations. Yes, concrete, baby. Uh, opening, rim, surrounding area, depth, infinite. All right. I'm ready for hole. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's, it's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you really? can down forever. That's right. Infinite cool. falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Why would I want to do that? Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a Do you know, if you dug do recommend you use a the hole through the earth all the way to the top. other side, it would take it roughly about 48 minutes to reach the things. other side. You'd come out with zero, accel zero acceleration because, well, you got all the acceleration from gravity and you cancelled okay, that going the other way. I don't know quite how to say this. I mean, you burn to death, but, but you know, ignore that, that part. Exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very That's very false advertising. I'll sue you. To be certain, it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. is hole. It infinite. Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely oh. philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found That's a long way up, that little uh, dot of white up there. Up, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think New the mug. issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? Me, I obviously. The hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. Hey, you're the one who said it was an infinite hole and wasn't infinite. I think we both said some things. This is on you. Why don't we just put all this Bitch. behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? If Look, that that's for you. It's not how it works. And press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole, and we can move on. No. I'll just be up here when you're ready. I, I'm holding a grudge. Every pause button is a no is a Roman numeral too. Uh, true, accurate. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. There we go. It's it's they got lyrics. Lovely, lovely. Meeting at 2 p.m. Sincerely, Hello. management. How are you doing today? Let's I'm good. Free. Chilling in a hole. Uh, enjoying it thoroughly. <sighs> I want to fall again. Great. Now, I'm very ex. Oh, for heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is you. <coughs> the problem I am is a that problem. You like holes too much. Rock and roll, <laughs> uh, not wrong. Said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of. Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, smaller hole? I didn't make an infinite hole. Thank you so much, I didn't Sammy. I think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button. In terms of infinite holes, button. size matters, and I expect mine to be infinite. Had enough? I'm no. positively thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where. Wow. I may not okay. have stopped everyone, yeah. but I've been. Yeah. 
So, I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. Less and less infinite, I suspect truly. that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep. Really? No shit, Batman. Marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Thank you so much, Aelin. I really appreciate that. Eight months, and uh, no pressure. You don't need to sub every month, but thank you so much for watching me, and I'm glad I could help you feel more confident in your identity. Incredibly cool. Keep, keep being awesome. Really appreciate you. All right, back up to the top. Yeah. Well, there it is. The shame what of my the fuck? Me. What is that? Not that's not a hole. That's a pit. This is still appealing to you. I know you're obsessed with <laughs> holes, but at this depth, the I carpet's got this an underlayer. Impressive. Oh, who am I to judge? You just I do am the whole gremlin. Here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. <laughs> hmm. Is the, um, it's not working. Button not working. You sure? Well, I mean. I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. Still nothing. Well, I suppose... I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be what a the fuck? Role, And now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the whole. I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. Hey! I hope you Come back! No! Can't even use my jumps. Jealous. Yeah, he doesn't get to experience the hole. Hello? Hello? <sighs> the whole is an otherworldly being of its own. Shrinking, surely, only to spite the narrator. But for us, a true whole enjoyer. We shall experience infinity. Into the void. Deeper than anyone has ever been before. Places people were perhaps never supposed to see. It's not epic anymore. Change your reality? Oh. <gasps> Dinos Wars. This one sounds like you could put a beat on, like, uh, some, like, rap or someone, someone could rap on top of it. Put a beat on top of it. Change yourself? <gasps> Yo! I'm leaving the puppies ones on. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Is that fucking, uh, Cass Vanderpool? My head's stronger. Now you're no Stanley. 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 
Oh, good, you're awake. Uh, it seems you had sort uh, of dozed off no. there, drifting away into green. No, let me back. But we can't have that, Stanley. Let me back. This hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. Stop! I don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really truly no. focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And hole. I'm all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. <sighs> all right. Down we go again. Ghost, thank you so much. No! Hole. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Come back to me. Hole. Let me enter you once more. I must return. I must return. No! It doesn't let me in! Oh man, you can see the uh, the grain size on this bucket is quite large. Interesting. No hole. Tragic. Infinite hole, hole, depth, more hole, infinity, science, more, falling. Educational use only. Fair enough, fair enough. And, uh... Just keeps going. That's where we go. That's how it went. I want to do that again. The hole was the highlight of the game. Um, <clears throat> we got a pet kitty. The cats don't like being picked up too much, so uh, I'm just going to pet one, and you'll you may have to enjoy cat from a distance. Wait, actually, I remembered I've got a cat cam. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I remembered. I remembered. I remembered a thing. Bonk. Boink. Hey guys. How you doing? Alright. You're coming with me. We're going on an adventure. Let me move all these tables. Hello! How are you doing, my boy? Little chap. Don't eat the cable. That would not be good for you. <laughs> Little chap. For some reason, got like a treasure chest underneath here. What the fuck is that? Anyway. Hey! Not allowed. Banned. Prohibited. Forever. Alright, that was the cat enjoyment time. Let me prop you back on top of... On top of my amazing Lego Death Star. Oh, that's the wrong button. Hey guys. How you doing? Returned once more. Cats aren't particularly playful. Can you see your nails? Yes, they're blue. The mannequin? What about the mannequin? There's no mannequin. I don't know what you're talking about. You see nothing. Nothing at all. It's great. We're having so much fun. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Don't think too hard. If you don't, if you act like they're not there, they're not there. Is what I have to do. All right. Stay hydrated. Get hydrated with me. Oh, 
I thought I that's not my usual playlist. I pressed the press the the play the play music button because I thought it would play my usual music and I forgot it was still the price is right. Okay. <laughs> Hydration music. Cheers. Thanks for petting Kitty. I pet my cat at the same time. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Take care of your cats. And your cats will take care of you. Alright. Let's jump back into the game. Can we just watch Price is Right? I've never watched The Price is Right. Never. I just know the song. And I think it's funny. Alright, let's leave. Is that an octopus in the back? Yes. Had so that's close All enough right. hydration. Have you no. seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? <sighs> My life will never be the same after I experienced whole. I don't think anyone's life will be able to go back to normal after whole. New mug. Ooh. <gasps> so new Scott, hole? What do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. Hole. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange oh. these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. It's got the hole! That's all I need, um, honestly. Well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... And we got our jump count back. Let's go. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. Yes, I yes, yes. Could have here we go. Version two. Two. Ooh. <sighs> Who am I kidding? It's Stan? got two holes. Yo! Here and video game at all. It's a lot of gags. The jump circle Can in the hole. Creating <gasps> gags, but they don't add Get me in there right now. Could you keep saying it's bad. It's so good. Sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. Double the hole. Double the love. fun. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They, they don't? The structure and the gameplay of the original. I think you underestimate how much fun I had Maybe in that hole. Maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, Ew. well, There's insert no hole. a few of my new features into it. Insert this hole. Holes. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Well, I suppose it could. But it would need it a could. really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, This is the Stanley Parable 2. This. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Ma! Doors open the cat. The cat opened the door? Sorry. How the fuck they do that? Just a sec. You seen those cats with like thumbs? My cats don't have thumbs, but I'm scared of cats with thumbs. All right. Back to the game. This does this is this is a cool <coughs> Excuse me. This is a cool title scene. I like it. This is the story of a man, man named Stanley. 
Stanley worked for a company. Oh, the balloons! No. Number four two seven. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee four two seven. Milliseconds. Every day of every month. Just get a robot, dude. Year. And although others might have considered it so The whole A for 12 milliseconds. Do you have any idea how short of time that is? As though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. He was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar yes. happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never no, quite, quite forget. forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say, Hi. I fucking hate those balloons. Never in all his years of the company Happy 12th this birthday, happened. step this niece. complete isolation. <clears throat> Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. <sighs> Here we go again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps Yo. he had simply missed a memo. See, I'm so glad I've gotten to be here this long. You and your community are so Let's my love to the kitties and have fun with the game. It's a goodie. It is good. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Thank you so much, Twitchy. Thank you for 11 months. <gasps> Stanley picked up the bucket. Bucket! I sound like a chicken then. Uh, why is there a thing blocking that weird? Uh, where's the the screen where I can tap? Is it no longer a thing? Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Could his co-workers really bucket. all be gone? Is he just gonna randomly mention the fact I've got a bucket now? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly <laughs> to his chest and entered the door on his left. Morning from Australia. Hello, Australia. All of Australia. Uh... Okay, I'll do what you say. Fuck, it makes me trust you. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more, more than, than ever. ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. No! You can feel that, can't you? No! The aura of jealousy. It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. It does not. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I'm strong. You know how I'm strong. Practice my strength. I will get stronger. Shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. I this will. is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. No. Oh, no. No, I cannot. The name calling now it seems. Is this what? how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this how dare they? Of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? This is Dad, my bucket. I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse very than drab. I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends. What? That your relationship is purely superficial and confused. No! That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner. No! Never. How could Go they? On, Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. This Go bucket has of them saved my point. life. It has Share helped me understand the, the rich whole landscape of your concept of depth as they have changed and, and evolved over the years. Metal. Let him have it. And 
wooden handles. It taught me what it means to be empty and what okay. it means to I've be filled with meaning. Which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Yes. Here we go. Ah! There. Yo! Now it's settled. No more debate, no more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet. Fuck all you, broom angry, closet. Philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Yeah. Fuck you. All bitch. Right. I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because <gasps> I think it's appropriate. Yeah! I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. Let's go! Therefore, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down Thank at you. the sticker I, uh, and say to yourself, I perceived oh, it as my lifelong companion. There really is but a wide also a of applications for this sticker. All right. Fuck you. Let us move on. Once you know, more. Coming to a staircase, into the breach. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I don't know what I expect to be in here. <gasps> yeah. We found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. There better be a fucking achievement. Happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. I'll make the most of it. Just a sec. Uh, let me put on the song. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Why can't I go in here? I'm close to the creator of this game. Cool. It's a fun game. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Crushed Stanley by the may weight have broken of this down bucket. into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. So true. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. What would, would I do without my bucket? Always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. Truly. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket, bucket. that he didn't notice the keypad bucket. behind the boss's desk. Bucket. Nor in his bliss of simply bucket. being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin bucket. number for the keypad bucket. was two eight bucket. four five. Bucket. Bucket. Sorry, I may have lost focus a little bit there. Uh, Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input yeah, anything. I, I don't know what happened there, I'm sorry. Since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct <laughs> code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Oh, was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Truly. Let us continue, Bucket. <gasps> Friend! Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about What about Stanleys? Yes, I think I like that. Another Okay, that's enough celebrating. All the dots emotes. Down we go once more. All right, which way do we go? The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing true, him, true. comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. 
The bucket is here, right. Hugh Stanley. Okay. Everything will right. be fine. Okay. Shush. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the Why did door that scare me a little bit? Mind control facility. The bucket guides me forward. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Hello. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. Bucket, what do you think of this? It's a rather large room. I'll let you press this button. Boop! The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. No! Everyone in I would the never. office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. Guinea pigs. Bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring I've got to it take care that of my bucket. Would be fine. See what's that? What's happening on that screen up there? It's rather weird. Echo. Bucket. Woo. <laughs> Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the no. bucket been told to do it things be. it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Up we go. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept ah. it. Have you seen His those videos of like someone pirates? Else's control? Pirate? Never. He squeezed the bucket tighter. Like parrots His one or like little cockatoos screaming world. into cups. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Thank you, bucket. Could this be a betrayal arc? Is one of us a traitor? Is this the twist ending? Sorry, Bucket. But at the last second, the Bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the control. Bucket, no! Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the Bucket's plan all along? To take How could you? And claim the power for itself? How could the Bucket have betrayed him like this? The Bucket influenced Stanley me. was prepared to throw the Bucket away in disgust when suddenly How could you? an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. <laughs> silly, silly birds. The control button <laughs> again. That's so silly. More birds. Yo! Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, <gasps> and then it dawned on him. This Flingo wasn't birds. a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. Yo. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. That's so silly. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands. The one who had pointed him towards this incredible... It's not that silly. 
<gasps> Stanley Silly and bugs! Never found freedom because they spent the rest yeah. of their lives here in this place, yeah. living through live streams of Full. the silliest Aww. birds imaginable. Oh, look at his all hair! The possible paths his life could have taken. E this one was surely the best, and Stanley yeah. was happy. <gasps> look at the birds! No! I want to see more birds. Bucket? Bucket? Where's my bucket? Bucket! The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Bucket! Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room. My boy! On, he would never be alone ever again. Bucket, 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 bucket. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, <sighs> and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Oh my god. I almost lost it there. Like, mentally, not as in, like, physically losing the bucket. Uh. Jeez. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to The be. bucket will guide me. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes. Anywhere no. is better Never than mind. the meeting room, the says bucket the bucket. Wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. We shall move forward. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting no. room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. And onto the cargo lift I went. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious there's a There's a he little stand down there. The bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. The bucket is my leader. To disobey the bucket is to forego In here, my life's meaning. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Uh oh. Uh, little bit of a uh, infinite void, anyone? Oh. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. Life together? With my bucket? What wouldn't I want? What wouldn't I give for that? This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And you guess then, correct. very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. <laughs> oh, bucket, I'm home! Bucket? <clears throat> bucket? Oh, hi, Bucket. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your Bucket. Press L to take me to work with you. Got a, not, not a bad house here. Kind of nice. You gonna make me take that L? Blech. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide Wait. the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the Bucket say to him is just in his head. Hi, Bucket. Wait, let me do a voice. Test. 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 Hello. There we go. This is this is kind of ethereal, I think, to a degree. Press G to take me back home with you. G. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Oh, bucket. 
I don't think I've ever been happier with anyone but you. Press V to take me back to work. All right, fuck it. Let's go back to work. A new day, a new work day. Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. Beep, it's beep, just beep, a beep, bucket. Beep, 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 it can't think. It can't beep, talk. Beep, 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 All it will ever truly do for you is effectively beep, transfer a liquid from beep, one beep, location beep, to a different beep, location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Beep, 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 beep. All right. I'm done with work today, buff Bucket. Want to go home? Don't listen to the loud man. Press G for us to go back home. Okay, Bucket. Whee! <sighs> you see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the Bucket. You know, once upon a time, bucket. it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and what listened he made to. For dinner? Now all he cares about is his awful Bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. You want to go to sleep? Press O to ignore anyone in your life except for me. Okay, Bucket. It's sad. Oh, we're I back at work. He need me anymore. That's weird. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket, <clears throat> this cold, empty bucket, this sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Where's Bucket? Oh, give it oh. This. The bucket <laughs> does have a nice there you are, Bucket. Bucket. You are hiding from me. Sneaky bucket. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press K to go back home. Okay, bucket. Let's go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware oh. store bucket. Is this the phone book? More, um, the beige pages. Say. Yeah. Sturdier. Wonder if I could more call someone on that. Transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room so This is a very high other. quality bucket. And I appreciate it. So we move forward. Press N to relive to relive the same day with me. Over and over. And as the best day of my life. I will. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying Hi, bucket. water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's Where are your stickers? so oh, much there you more are. than just a regular bucket? Alright, back home, bucket. Press L to go to go home. To work, to home, to work, to home. Okay, Bucket. Oh no, I'm, I'm having feelings. The Bucket. No, 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 Romantic? No, 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 no. Oh, you, you did all this bucket? for me, yeah, Bucket. The bucket has to say. All for me? Asks, what's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps, if I had the Bucket, this would be less confusing. Oh. Yes, the Bucket, bucket could tell me what to you do in this troublesome beautiful. situation. I don't think I've ever seen a more attractive bucket. In this moment, I don't think there is a more attractive being in this world. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to it's me. It's my now. bucket. It or I'll... It's my bucket. No one but me shall have it. Go back to work, Stanley. Bucket. Bucket. Just a step through this door. Bucket. He thought to himself, "That's all I need. If I can Bucket. make it through this door, I can make it." The confusion <sighs> and the chaos all seem to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. <sighs> the relief I feel as soon as I hold this bucket is unrivaled. Come with me, Bucket. Stanley Should go on many the adventures. Tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left.
Hazel, thank you so much for six months. Mission status? Status? Uh. Uh. Large room, lots of boxes. Somewhere red and blue. Okay, so there's, uh... Okay, I know where two of them are. The red and blue doors. That one that we saw from the lift. Stairs, something with stairs. Okay, there's probably Darren on the stairs coming up then. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Yeah! Look at that. I'm so good at games, baby. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlids. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's enough. Pod watches, uh, playing the Price is Right music right there. Um, maybe the bucket will keep me company through the insanity. Yo, ten months. Thank you so much, non-dairy dairy cow, for the prime as well. Do you know those are free? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work. I couldn't. I couldn't. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Absolutely. All because he believed everyone had vanished. It's crazy. His boss would think he was crazy. They've all gone on a field something trip. Something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. I am. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. You're That's not strange, crazy, Stanley thought. Usually said the bucket. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. What? And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. <gasps> it's just a normal, everyday bucket. No! It's someone else's bucket. Perhaps. No! How did I end up with someone How? else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely No! Where's, where's my bucket? This? Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. No. And indeed, now he noticed Not my bucket. Repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Going back. Oh, gracious, he exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me. The bucket. I'm coming for you, bucket! He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them not my his. bucket! None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. He had to gotta find go the faster. Bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, it froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredibly painful. It just Stanley explodes out of my chest. And blacked out. Find me. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular you day, have my the body bucket of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk right away she knew what the problem was this man had no bucket of course he'd gone mad ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything it's a common affliction determined truly and will bucketless and it's all just a video game it could all have been prevented video if game he'd taken his bucket with him perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place how cruel the world can be Mary. how cruel she hugged her own bucket even tighter but of course she had no time for this there were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work. No maidens. For which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity. No buckets. 
No maiden. Tragic. My life kicks ass, and she backflipped all the way to work. Impressive. Impressive. Okay, I want to find all the all the little Stanleys. Stanley decided to go to Bucket the meeting time. to check on his co-workers. Bucket. He never functioned well by Come himself. Back. Yeah. Spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. You came back for me. I did, Bucket. I'm here with Stanley you now. Stanley the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. <sighs> had the bucket the turned perfect out place. to be correct? Was this better to than the hide meeting rate. room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. Cheers. How insightful Ding. the bucket turned out to be. <sighs> Refreshing. You guys better Truly, hydrate with being me. Here with the bucket was a grand adventure. Stanley reflected on all they'd been through together. First, walking <sighs> through the door on the right. Then walking to the lounge, then arriving at the lounge. What a thrilling journey the bucket had inspired. Amazing. Thrilling. No, Groundbreaking. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left no. to go back to the meeting room. No. No. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The, the cargo lift. Yes. Room. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. There's a little Stanley over there. The Stanley Reen. It's the closest to parkour you get in the game. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and the Reen. Every time. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will be called the second number. And that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now, we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and the Reens. None of us can. Figler and the Reens? Uh, okay, what's through this weird little vent thing? Bucket? You're going to keep me company, aren't you? Uh-oh. Uh. Where are we, Bucket? I don't know. You'll keep me company, though, right? Of course. All right, cool. We'll continue on. Uh Hello Uh Narrator dialogue Narrator di it's all narrator dialogue Mr Narrator Why do you sound like this? Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The bucket is the only way. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. Evidence 252. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. Bucket the most addictive drug in existence. The emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Trust in Bucket. Doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feel so what this word do it rhymes with bucket with treasure other than fuck it i can i can monetize it monetize no yes. don't you dare it's capitalism's getting to you my friend money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket this is my golden 
ticket. But I have to be careful, because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Uh, Who's there? Uh... Camborata. Camborata? Sound like a Minecraft disc. Well, that was fun. All right. Well. The one last place is with the red and blue. Were gone. What could it mean? What could it Stanley mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Come with me, Bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. Yes. He'd never be alone again. Not truly alone. Not never. with the bucket around. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his ch This was not the correct way to the speed, meeting room. Speed, speed run, but speed, Stanley fast. Stanley had the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee Another day was simply the place with to be. the best bucket in the and world. And it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. The bucket's Stanley never wrong. Stanley took the door on his left. To go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. No. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo Wee. lift, yes. Good, Wee. said the bucket. Now ride the lift Wee. all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Wee. Stanley did not question why or how this Wee. bucket was speaking to him. It Wee. should have alarmed him, of course, because Wee. buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose <laughs> not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did Bonk. whatever the bucket asked. Sometimes you've got to think for yourself. <coughs> danger. Danger everywhere. Okie doke, mate. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay <sighs> to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness. Let I me in. Let the bucket in. in. It's yes, my bucket and it can go anywhere I can. ...on the entire rest <coughs> of the game, if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Uh-huh. Please, step in here for a moment. <sighs> okay, sure. I know what a bucket is. Oh my, what is this? Now then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. This is a big audience. Simply Hi enough, guys. This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. All right, all okay, right. Let's begin. Wait, is that your game show? I can play the music. Item one, is this a bucket? That's a bucket. Yeah. Incorrect. It is a hologram what? of a bucket, not an actual bucket. It won't let me out. Item two. Is this a bucket? That's a bucket. Or is it? Could be another hologram. Could be a 2D projection of shorts, or maybe even just a piece of metal with a hole in the bottom. We can't know unless we get up close to it. But given the information provided, I will have to assume that it is a bucket. <sighs> it is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket. Ah, oh, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. You know, that, that happens. That happens. Item three. Is this a bucket? Hmm. Now, this one. This one, you can tell just by, you know, the shape of it. Just the way it holds itself. It's a handle 
it's not on in quite quite the right way uh it's staying up and gravity is a thing so it should be going down uh, this isn't a bucket incorrect <gasps> this is a bucket what can't believe it can't believe it item 4 is this a bucket no, that's not that's not a bucket there's not a bucket that's uh you know like a tractor has got wheels and shit uh it's not a bucket but perhaps i'm being deceived it's a people bucket I mean, it transports liquids. That's what buckets are for. It's got fuel in there. It brings it from one place to another place. Technically, in some extension of the word, it could be a bucket. It's a bucket. What? Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. In Let's just move on. Incredible. Is this a bucket? No, no, no. This one, obviously, obviously, is a tractor. You can tell because it's got exhaust coming out of it, which means it's no longer liquid. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Boris. Um, yeah, no, this isn't a bucket. This one isn't a bucket. Absolutely not. You can see one wheel smaller than the other, and on buckets, the wheels are the same size. Incorrect. This is a bucket. What? Come on. Item six. Is this a bucket? There's <sighs> no winning here, man. There's uh, so many different options. This could be another 3D printed one. But, but, I think given the previous rounds this is the most bucket like bucket I think I've seen so far this is a bucket <gasps> question both gotcha what? What? what how dare you item wait hold on I can't find the next one let me see it should be around here somewhere it's uh, Schrodinger's bucket Yes. Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything here. And I don't <laughs> appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is I something. I think it's everything and nothing is a bucket. Could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced Air yourself that a bucket water. is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? I can't, I'm sorry, that's physically... Wait, what did he ask? Do you think nothing's a bucket? Transporting liquids is the way. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. You think I've I'm confused? Perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? We are a Stanley, bucket. I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all We are I a bucket for be. our own stories. A bucket to for our souls. I can't have that. I'm sorry. You, I'm I, and every single one of us here, okay. here are go. buckets. What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait. Was everything a bucket? I am become Every bucket. Thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my god, I had no idea. <laughs> How could... Except me. I am not a bucket after all. And you, Stan, <sighs> you're still here. You're not a bucket either. What? So this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue. But it doesn't change the fact 
that we haven't got a game. So tell you what, I'll reset everything. Don't you dare! Back all of the buckets. Don't you dare! And we'll know that it's all a bucket. Oh! But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Who knows we, that, what that, that works. That works. That works. That works. All right. Here we go. We can agree to bucket. The end is never the end is never the end is never the end. Ah! How you doing, little bucket? All of his <sighs> co-workers were gone. What could it be? Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Wait, there's an achievement? Click the door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? What? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. There's an achievement for that? If you were to click the door 20 times, I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. Let's do it. Let's do it. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness that to door go doesn't all usually the way, close. no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? That, that door doesn't usually close. I went to go get... The bucket. The good old bucket. Just standy in the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Where's 417? Oh! Okay, bucket, we're great. clicking together. Now, go touch the bucket on door 437 a few times. 437? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. You better lead me to 437. Oh, we've got to go to the red and blue place. <coughs> Still. Hello? Ah. Coming to a staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Thought I saw someone there. I want to bring back dog mode. Should I just restart now? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an was indication of any human eight, life. Four, Crushed five. by the weight of... But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Yes. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Absolutely. Was the bucket guiding him? All yes. praise the bucket. This is certainly the most logical... All praise the bucket. Down we go. Whee! I wonder what happens if you take the bucket into the death room. Come on, bucket. Let's go die. Whee! Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that Meep. read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Bow down to bucket. At this point, Stanley and the bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Here is the way. Whee! Are you going to go for all endings? I have no idea how many endings there are. I'm just kind of going for as long as I find new stuff to watch or play. <coughs> what do you think of this bucket? 
As the machine whirred Death. into motion and Stanley and the Lovely. bucket inched closer Great. to their demise, cool. Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. What the f- I feel comforted! It puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of kicked himself for wasting so Squish much me. time carrying a bucket Squish everywhere. me. Farewell, Stanley. Bye! Aww. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed. No, not the death. bucket! Ah. Also. Yo! Huge congratulations to Tony on Twitch one for redeeming the Discord role. See, this is this is why this is why we need to up the price a little bit. SMH. Congratulate. Wait. Perfect time for this music. What's the Discord role? The Discord role is the most expensive thing I have for channel points. Uh, 250,000 channel points. It's a lot. It's a lot. <clears throat> decrease it? I literally will never, never decrease it. Send, the, send your Discord username. You'll get access to a whole bunch of stuff. You get your access to the role. You get access to... Special top secret channels, uh, including sub channels, and you don't even need to be subscribed to access them. Just as a thank you for watching me for so long, I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you around for much longer. Congratulations from all of us here at the Eret team. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, that's I, I need that song on my soundboard because I find it hilarious to use. I like it. Okay. Let's go. Swear to God, if you have the price of Discord, roll again. Dude, we, we've had two people redeem it in literally back-to-back -back streams. We're going to need to increase the price at some point. Otherwise, it doesn't become valuable anymore. Only the most driven. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way. True. But this one stood above the rest. It no! was a glorious bucket to behold. No! The bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You are standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within, a cavernous void. But through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness? I guess we'll see. But it is truly tragic to not have the bucket with me in this moment. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his <laughs> short life? Oh. 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 Ha, <laughs> 
Do you hear about the uh, the bucket wars? I mean, okay, partially myth, but there was two uh, two cities in medieval Italy. Um, they were fighting and getting in wars, and then one city comes over and steals the bucket from their city well. Um, and they're like, they stole our fucking bucket. We have to go get our bucket back. And they have, they have a war. This, this is a much better story. I last watched a video about it years ago, but it's real. It's no true man thing. can own a bucket. And certainly Absolutely. not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. The bucket companionship. Man who should kneel before the bucket. Agreed. The hanging bucket. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance inevi inevi inevitably is for our own good. In from the hole? Spook goat, thank you. Alright, let's get some speed up. In bed because I have a concussion. Oh no! Study for my math midterm. Also no. Oh, Watch good luck. While eating popcorn. Yeah. Happy eight months. Let's go. Thank you so much, goat. Really appreciate you. All right. Into the hole. Whee. Oversimplified as one on the bucket wall. Yeah, that's a good video. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. <gasps> Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. It the is the way. Place as ruler, as leader, 07, chat 07. A new world, a new vision. A noble death for a noble cause. Already this was uncomfortable, and Stanley what? decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. <laughs> Relatable. Uh... Ask me to click 437, right? Oh, please. Oh, do we have to do this all over again? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I'll I do would it. say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. No, wrong door. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Mm -hmm. Perhaps 50 okay. clicks will do it. 50? Yes, almost certainly. <laughs> speed, speed, speed. Click, 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 click. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment. A okay, willingness okay. to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Don't shut behind me. Yeah, why did that shut behind me before? That was weird. Where are we going today, the bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went to get... Okay, great. Now, go touch the bucket on door 437 a few times. 
Let's go touch the bucket on the door. Ding, 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 yes. ding. Yes, now we're getting somewhere. How about door 415? Give it some bucket love. Bucket love for 415. This way, right? Here you go. Now back to door number 437. On our way back. Do, 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 do. Oh, God, it's going to be stuck in my head now, isn't it? Uh-oh. You know, I think the coffee machine needs some attention. Why don't you rub the bucket on it a bit? All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Bit, bit, bit way. Bit of a weird thing to... Okay, bit of a weird way to say it. Okay, bring the bucket on top of employee 419's desk. Yes, this is great. Now the bucket knows exactly what it's like to be employee 419. Yes. Now, let's introduce it to door 416. It knows. The bucket has grown intelligence. We've almost got it. Now make the bucket and the copy machine touch again. Let's go. Run, run, run. Finish it off, Stanley. Five touches of the bucket on door 430. One, two, three, four, yes. five. We did it. <gasps> Yay! Got an That's achievement. Amazing. Click on door you know, four, not all buckets, four, all three, zero, kind of five times. So yeah. You all know what it's like to slam repeatedly against nearly every door in one section of an office building. Or what it's like to be employee 411. Amazing. Buckets may dream of an experience like this, but few can say they've truly lived it. You've given a bucket hope today. Stanley, I'm very proud of you. <gasps> I've never heard that before. Thank you. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop. Um, all right. Let's continue this Stanley way. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge okay. was simply the place to be. And the red and was, blue doors. the bucket turned out to be correct, was this better? No, never mind. We need the to go there to get wrong. the final figurine, Stanley which apparently the there's no there. reward for, I but I want it meeting. anyway. No. Said no. The bucket. Don't Fuck go to you. the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Whee. Good, said the bucket. Whee. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. Whee. There's something up there I need you to do. Yeah. Stanley did not question why or Let's how go. this bucket was speaking to him. It should Whee. have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose yeah. not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken Man, to him. this is so exciting. And he unthinkingly Bonk. did whatever the bucket asked. Danger. Danger everywhere. I might no, need to leave stop. the bucket behind. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot <sighs> about your behavior. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's got the the pause menus different. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, begin the game again. We'll have to leave the bucket behind. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Sorry, bucket. It's the way it must be. What the... What? Huh? What? Okay. A good bucket. A strong bucket. A humble bucket. A committed bucket. A bucket of culture and distinction. I, I felt uneasy. I had to bring him with me. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. 
and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. What's going and on here? And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better? No, never mind. The Is it all just the wrong. same? Why was the beginning different? Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. That's bizarre. Bizarre. Okay, let's try something different. And so with the bucket. two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. Oh, uh, what? Why is you the see, baby your here? friends and I are concerned for you, Stan. The line's here, though. We've come together here Let because we down. care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. No! The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel <laughs> content. We're the line ones you're here Stanley. too. Classic characters and broom closet? Game, like the adventure line and the broom closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes. Not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story? You're a bad influence, the Narrator. Line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. <gasps> What's that table? I love this is just kind of just clipped here. You can just go into it. Fuck you, baby. You're a fucking child. So immature. Whee! <laughs> Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, we need some silly music as well. <gasps> yeah! Da 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 don't you remember all those great jokes from the Bring original the music dialogue? Back. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> 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 it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it again, <coughs> Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. No. No, I couldn't. What is this? Where have you brought me? No matter how much you try, I will never give up my bucket. Line, where are you leading me? I trust you, Line. You've never led me wrong. Uh oh. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not no. in the original game. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. No, 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 no. It already feels as though it's been part the cast all along. We're fine. I don't have a problem. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. No. Say goodbye I to can't. the bucket. And then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Bucket. You have to know I would never. I would never do this to you. I couldn't. This isn't your destiny. There has to be another way. There has to be another way. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? 
Bossy, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you'd see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. Uh, you have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters. Fuck like it! The adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer. I don't want crack. to! Damn Bucket! Quickly now! The fans are waiting. Do it! Don't do it! Stanley, give I won! I can't! Want. Hurry and... Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you, all of it squandered no. now. Goodbye, new friend. All For is lost. For the time that you were here, you were magnificent. Hello? And we're back. Like nothing's happened. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Yeah, why is it so bright? <laughs> you could look in the mirror, you literally see my f mirror. Look out the window, you literally see my f my face in real life. <laughs> Light up. Bucket. For your own safety, I'm not sure I can continue to bring you with me. Every reset, you spawn back here, but... You don't know what I've been through. We've died many times in previous lives. And I remember it all. Maybe it's time to end this cycle. Ah, the embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no... Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left. To go back, and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite I door. I don't because I have seven hours of feeding classes starting soon, less than three. Thank you, Shrimpy. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way. Bucket. Here. I knew you'd you don't find remember this, place this eventually. But I do. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's I can only see you get hurt so many times, everywhere. Bucket. The Bucket isn't even from the original Stanley parable. It's just sequel content. I want the We're last the time I see you. Stanley, classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this Bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. The mannequins and the narrator? I hope everyone here has a wonderful day. Ah! I don't because ah! I have seven hours. Ah! <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Alright, let's 
Ski movie. Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Fuck it, I'm going to enjoy this music. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da -ba. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give you them know it's... content exactly um, like this. All right, let's continue. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. I know. I understand. It is the way. Da 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 And we're back. Once more. Where are we? What is this place? Bucket. This will be the last time I see you. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you yeah, don't need to You seem a little bit you. too enthusiastic about it. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the Bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Bucket. This is the only way. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't I'm know sorry. what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Please. Destroying buckets is all it knows. I'm sorry. That is its singular personality it trait. Is the well, only I way. Saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, it doesn't want to go to in. If you really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten Get in! traits. What other object in this Don't make me regret this! Say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be carrying. Get in there! Buckets. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters. Bucket! Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now. The fans are waiting. Do it, the fans. Sorry! The fans what they want. Hurry and... It appears there is no escaping the bucket. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you. Tell such spell-binding stories about you. I was legitimately trying to press now. every button to make it go in, Goodbye, uh, and it did not friend. go in. Uh, From the moment in time that you were here, you were there's no avoiding it. Magnificent. The bucket is, as it appears, undestroyable. All right. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. I can't look at him the same way. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the Forever meeting room, changed. and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. <laughs> oh! What was that? No! It was...
was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, right, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Boing, boing, I boing, realize boing, that boing, investing boing, boing, your boing, trust boing, in someone boing, else can boing, be boing, difficult, boing. but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Who's that? Please. What? Really? L. I was in the um, middle of something. Do you have zero Yeah, I'm trying to collect the little Stanley figurine guys. I want something bad to happen to you. Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you no to buckets. show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. <sighs> and there it is. The last Stigly Wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This da, is da, doing da, da. something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people the last to be stiggly wiggly the most achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So da, 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 instead, I'll just say it's done. Da, 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 da. We're all done here, and now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Okay, that's it. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I've not been through the red door, let's do that. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two Where are we going? trying to get somewhere that isn't oh, here. God. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. Uh, I would... We would both be so uh, much happier if we just stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. What's your solution? Here, let me show you. Oh! A void! Lovely! Whee! Hello. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? What is this? Who are you? Uh. Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Making some we weird noises, stay my friend. Right here, right in this moment, with this place, Stanley. I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> There's no more Stiggly Wigglies here, are there? That's all I care about. Ooh, Ribby. Thank you so much, Ace. So much. Keep up the great work, please. Really, really appreciate that. Yo! Being in a VR chat world that looks kind of like this. In VR, you can probably imagine it's a bit more intense. <clears throat> okay, just anything, anything happening? Green. All right, I'm bored. No, wait. Where are you going? What? Right. Oh. Where were we? Okay, I'll come back. I'll come back. What do you think you're doing a VR stream? <sighs> VR chat's fun. Uh, but streaming it is one of the most risky things you can do. Alright, let's go. The other VR games I could stream? Maybe. We'll see. Oh no, stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. All of this, what was that? Oh, that's the first, like, I've not seen anything like this throughout the entire rest of the game. Interesting. Okay, 
Okay, one more time, one more time. Enjoy, enjoy the colors, the pretty colors. Look at the pretty colors. Good, Ooh. good. We can't be too pretty. Me we won't go back Whoa. then. Just, just stay. Yeah, there. pretty. Ooh, so cool. Shh, while he's distracted, run. So pretty. No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. How many times can you do this? Are you... You are going to stay here, aren't you? This is the only way to make forward progress. You heard me before, didn't you? You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? I've died a hundred times before, and I'll die a hundred more times. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. The cycle will begin again. While my body may remain broken in this loop, a new me shall be born. And I shall remember these memories. Whoop! No! Oh. oh. Thank God. You lived. You had no. No, no, what are you doing, Stanley? No, Please, didn't take enough I'm asking damage. you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are go you Go back doing to what? This? I must know. The pursuit of knowledge compels me. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you okay. do that okay. for me? Just for you. I, I feel mean to you. I feel mean. One, one, one more time. Yes. We'll check out the room. Perhaps you can. We'll check out the room. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. Ooh, pretty. So nice. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? One more time. One more time. No. There are no other not. directions for us here. Lucid, thank you so much for two months. We've got no other choice. I'm sorry. My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were no. literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. I'm doing Am this I because I like your correctly? game. The immersion, the different routes, the back and forth. Without it, this is just any other game. We go forward once more. Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. All the choices I've made have been under your guidance, and whether or not I follow that guidance has always been up to me. You, the story writer, have tried to limit my choices. This. This is a choice I must make, but in the knowledge that it could open new doors and new stories. If you think this is it, if you think this is the end, have you truly learned anything? Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Narrator? Oh.
Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just... it's those figurines. Those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Yeah, Didn't I felt very accomplished. In a richness? He doesn't remember yes, a thing. I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines just one more time. Rachel's obsessive Stanley. <clears throat> Law wise, I'm the only person he's interacted with for, you know, a few hundred thousand years. And he's the only other person I've interacted with for my entire existence. All I have is a bucket and the narrator. <clears throat> this isn't you. Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. The seventh. He looks so sad. Distressed, even. What is his purpose? Will we ever know? Seven out of six. Huh. This is where we found the first one. And here was a second Stan Lorene. You found this one all on one. your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll I did. Honest. Back then, I had no faith <clears> in you <throat> to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Thanks, man. Eight out of six. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? It's under Can the stairs, remember? it has to be. Here it is. No, 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 no. Under the stairs was the fourth place you found a fig only, not the third. Oh. Well, I guess perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. Memories like these are so precious and so cherished that they all just sort of blend together, don't Little they? Little bit. You know what? If under the stairs feels like the third place you found a collectible, then who am I to go making judgments? Nine out of six. <coughs> Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually say I remember being yeah. in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. Ten out of six. It's a big apple. Hello. Oh. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, it's Windows Movie Maker. Oh, I made videos like this when I was like eight. Yo, the transitions. It's mini stand number five. Yo! The clip art, yeah! That exact shade of blue. Let's go! If anyone was around on YouTube between like 2007 and like 2012,
2012, 2013, he saw a lot of these types of videos. Back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Man, that only took eight minutes. I'm impressed. Well done. Now the final Stanley. And then Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Delicious. Both doors lead to the same place. And we move forward regardless. Twelve out of six. Whoa! That's trippy. And then, there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, Memory Zone. How'd it taste? Uh, like people. No, no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Wh what? Can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines. Let's just go <gasps> The backwards. fun! We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Yeah, yeah, fun, fun. Look at this thing. Yeah, yeah. This is the best part of the game. This is the best part of the game. He told us to pay attention to this fern earlier in the game, that we would remember it because it's incredibly important. I haven't seen it since. And now it's here. Behold. The fern. Alright, I'm done. The past. Alright, let's go. Speed! Okay, yes, the room with the red and blue what? doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going, I want more. I want more too, therefore I'm way ahead of you. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video? I do, watched? it's a good video. <laughs> Yo! <Yeah! laughs> I love that video. You know what's really sad is I remember making videos like that, and then like, oh, it's like a movie. You've got to put credits on the end of it. Uh, what are all the different roles in a movie? Is like editor, uh, uh, camera guy, uh, writer, director, producer, and every single one it would just be. Director, Alistair. Editor, Alistair. <laughs> Every single one. Best Boy. Best Boy is an actual film role, by the way. That, like, that's, uh... Still don't remember the pink that's, room, if you Stanley. If you, uh, look in, like, movie credits, room, you will actually though, see it. A solid room. Boink. Hey, Wolfie, how you doing, dude? These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very I glad agree. we resisted. Just the, the pure challenge of finding them alone makes it worth it. Delicious. Let's we go the other way. Oh, it literally doesn't let me. Okay. Listening in class. Sneaky sneak. I'm doing good. Uh, the game is good. Uh, I'd seen some clips of the original game. So this is all fairly new to me and I'm enjoying it greatly. 
This was our second Piggly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. He looks the so past distressed. Is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose Bonk. to leave it? Keep going. Keep going. Young chap. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories. Well, this Stanley. doesn't look terrifying at all, does it? What else is there? What came before this? What was there before? The exit sign. Ooh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. How? Uh huh. <sighs> Look, it's the terrible new content that we were <sighs> We still got some jumps. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy. I'm so glad I didn't use up all my jumps. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more, more memories. More memories. These jumps will be incredibly memorable. There we go. Can't jump anymore. See? Literally impossible. Three more jumps. That's enough. That's enough. Just in case we need jumps later. Oh, yes. The two doors. Who could have forgotten that? The first That's choice the in the game. One. Oh. Ooh. I'll go through this one to make you happy. And we're straight back into my and before office. before everything else, there was your office. Yes. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? I There's do not something know. I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was, I was different. You were different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy, and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. What? He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. What? Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I'm real. I, I know I'm real. You can't convince me I'm not real. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? I exist. Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office, and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling this story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man, man named, named Stanley. Stanley. The end is never the end. The end is never the end. Is never the end. The end is never the end. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? What was that? There was that one screen that I could add stuff to over time. I've grown above the bucket. If this is his last memories of me, I want it to be when special. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Everything's a bucket. Therefore, the bucket is always with me. 
Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. What the fuck? <sighs> SMH. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This is a new poem. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Lovely. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah blah yep, blah. Yep, blah yep, secrets, yep. the key uh -huh, uh -huh. pushes some buttons. Oh hey, beep, beep, look, boop, it's boop. a new passageway. Quel surprise. Quel surprise. What a surprise in French. Uh, let me continue down here. Whee! They fucking gets me every time. Into the Everlater. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yep, let me do this. Enter the echoey room. Nice and spooky. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Echo! What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Echo! Did he have the strength to find out? Woo! Woo! Narrator! Bop. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Beep, boop, Each beep, bore beep, the beep. number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place there. where freedom Wait, that was face punch? Nothing. I saw a face punch thing. Face punch made Gary's mod. Yeah, there's face punch. Oh, that's cute. Into the unknown. I still don't know what that one up there is. Oops. <coughs> this mind control facility, it was too horrible uh. to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? <laughs> Up we no. go. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Unthinkable. Was it had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. I feel Controls like there's the stuff in this room which emotions. I, uh... Happy, or sad, or content, walking, eating, Can interact working, with, but never did. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Never again. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. And here we go. Bob. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. <sighs> Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, 
Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not happiness. been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. All Whatever decisions are my own. It will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. <sighs> Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. For the last one. Had to be. But we're back. We're back again. How has this happened? Narrator, surely something's gone wrong. <clears throat> All of his co-workers were gone. What, what could, could it mean? mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps, he would become both of those things. Seemed like he tried to grow, grow beyond me unsuccessfully. Stanley touched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his own. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Right. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, yes Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door <coughs> on his left to go back to the meeting room. I don't know what just loops now and what's like new content. No, <clears throat> said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Uh... Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all I the way to the top. There's you something the up there I need no you to do. Place, that's one place Stanley that did the not question shoot. why or how this the bucket was literally to. everywhere else. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, yeah. and he unthinkingly and be did whatever the bucket asked. <clears throat> the end is never the end. Is never the end. Is never the end. Is never the end. No, stop! Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here, unless? What if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. About this it. misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story could be on your Let me understanding in. of what Let is me in. and isn't a bucket. Please. Step in here for a moment. No. Let me in. <clears throat> okay, I don't think I can actually go in there. Uh. Tease, tease what is. And we've been here.
it before. Nailed it. <clears throat> Alright, I think... I mean, I'm sure there's more endings we haven't seen yet. I mean, there absolutely are more endings we haven't seen yet. But... They're not obvious to me. Um, and I have been live for about five hours. It is currently 1 a.m. I think it's a good time for me to call it. It's 27 in total. Jesus. It's a lot. Hey, yo, five months. Five months? That's a long time. Thank you so much, Steffo. Uh, Alright. Also, I'm a little bit like... Why, like, he said, this is going to be your last time we completed the game again, and then it wasn't. So, um, like, sh shouldn't something have happened there or something? Who knows? Who knows? Let's quit. Face cam. Music. Oh, wrong music. Uh, let's get the... Hey, yo, five months. Uh, Eric's bedroom pop. All the way down to the bottom. There we go. It's a good vibe. Uh, thank you so much everyone for being here with me. This game was really fun. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll stream it again because... I met there's only so much replayability, I think. Um, but it was definitely fun. Um... Yeah, next stream will be on Friday. Uh, there may be a big announcement between now and then. I've just got to get stuff organized. Um, and we'll see. Adventure line music. I want chill I want chill stuff to end out the stream. Uh, I really need to use the toilet and stuff. So, because I didn't take a break for that whole five hour stream. <laughs> Which I probably should have done. Um... Yeah, no, this is this is fun. I I really enjoyed it. So thank you everyone for being here. Um, you're all pretty pretty fucking poggers. Uh, appreciate everyone who subscribed, followed everything. Um, you're all so so cool. Um, and I will see you in the next stream. Farewell. Hey,